from Detroit. The third game of the Stanley Cup final at the Detroit Olympia between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Detroit Red Wings. Brought to you by Imperial Oil Limited and SO dealers, agents, and distributors from coast to coast. Hello, Canada and hockey fans in the United States. Bill Hewitt here at the Detroit Olympia. And the Leafs are coming out of the ice for the first period of this fourth game of the Stanley Cup Finals. Detroit Red Wings will be out momentarily. Maple Leafs wearing white, defending the goal to my left. And Detroit coming out now, led by Terry Sachuk. To my right. Fourth game of the Stanley Cup Finals. Leafs are leading in the series two games to one. Winning both games at home. And Detroit winning their first game at home. They're announcing the lineups to start the game. The referee tonight, number four, Vern Buffy. Alman Stasiak and Floyd Smith will start for Detroit. Keon Duff and Armstrong for the Maple Leafs. Stanley Horton on the defense. Gadsby and Marcel Pronovo for Detroit. And now we'll have the national anthem. to start the first period here at the Detroit Olympia. And the fans are still coming in. Cloudy, not too cool in the Detroit today. Brain Buffy is the referee, and he calls the players to center ice. Goes right back to Alan Stanley. Over here to Tim Horton. Pass off the board, goes to the Detroit Blue Line where it's shot out. George Armstrong coming up with it. A flip pass for Dick Duff. Too well covered, it bounces though, he goes after it. Ran into Floyd Smith. Buck is in the corner, Vic Stasiak shoots it out over the line and Stanley moves up. He takes a long shot into the Detroit zone. Sotchuk stopping it. Mitchell Pronova watched by Keon. Duff checked him, trying to center it in front of the net. Normie Elman goes to the corner. He's checked, Stanley moves up, jams into his man, Keon wraps it right back into the corner. Bill Gadsby trying to get away from George Armstrong, a pass for Stasiak goes down the ice. It's going over the red line, Horton will touch it, icing will be the call. Face off in the Detroit zone to the right. Doug Blackley's coming out now on the defense with Marcel Cronovo, that's number five, replacing Bill Gadsby. No other changes on the ice at the moment. Keon, Duff and Armstrong, Horton, Stanley. For the Maple Leafs in white. 
Run the face off. The puck is in the corners. Normie Elman behind the net. Side around the boards for Vic Stasiak. Martin saps it. Gets it right back in again. That race is after it. Takes a shot right on. Sotchuk stopped that. It goes into Stasiak in the corner. Tries to get it out. He does. Duff stopped him. And Horton turns. Keon couldn't trap it. And the puck goes back to the leaf blue line. And into the leaf zone. Where Duff has it. He shoots it down the ice. I saw Pornovo back for it. Got it around on the boards to Floyd Smith to Normie Elman. Floyd Smith was checked by Stanley and knocked down. Doug Barkley clears it in, goes after it. Bauer came out of his net, cleared it off the boards, but not out. Then Armstrong got it out. Floyd Smith then to Vic Stasiak. His long shot was caught by Bauer off the target. George Armstrong to Duff. Duff with Keon. Shoots it over the line. Sotchuk stopping it off the target. Doug Brackley to Vic Stasiak. Up with Gordy Howe. To Ullman on the left wing. Too well covered by Bond. Gordy Howe. Pass over to Doug Brackley in the shot. And Bauer knocks it out to the side. A clearing pass to the blue line. Doug Brackley's shot again was stopped by Bauer. Bob Bond just a wrist shot to center is deflected. Ullman having difficulty. Ran into Mahomet. Howe on the right wing, shoots it into the leaf zone. Vaughn clearing it for Stewart. Stewart nearly passes it right in front of his own net. Alex Elbecchio is checked, and away goes Mahavlitz. Mahavlitz up at center. After the Detroit line, shot it in. Strachuk caught it. Steered it into the corner. Kelly keeps it in with a shot to the opposite wing. And Parker McDonald clears it out to Alex Elbecchio. For Gordy Howe. Here's a shot. He scores! in 54 seconds. Alex Del Vecchio and Parker McDonald assisting. That shot was just too hard to handle for Johnny Bauer. And it went right through his glove into the net. So Detroit jump off to an early lead. 1-0. For Gordy Howe, that's his seventh playoff goal. Giving Detroit a one nothing lead. Still scraping up the ice. A couple of omelets out there again. Some paper down at the leaf end they'll have to come down and pick up. Scoring play, Gordy Howe, Alex Delvecchio, and Packer McDonald assisting the official time, 2.54. Red Wings fighting tonight to even the series, trailing two games to one. Opening the scoring in this first period at the 2.54 mark. Referee Vern Buffy, number four. Liza Matt Pavlich, number five. Rodden Wicks, number 11. Now they just about finished scraping up the ice in the Detroit end.
players are just skating around. Apparently there's a, a lot of eggs over there in, inside the Detroit Blue Live, and they're still working on it. players are going to their respective benches. Now we have some more egg on the ice by the Detroit net, just out the front by the edge of the circle. The attendants are working overtime early. And this could be a long night. to make sure that all of the debris is picked up. Well, the players do not accidentally step on anything with their skates. Now then, referee Vern Buffy calls the team to center ice. one nothing Detroit. Del Vecchio, Parker McDonald, and Gordy Howe. Fulford with Jack and Nevin. And now coming out is Alex Faulkner with Andre Cronovo and Bruce McGregor. On the faceoff, Nevin gives it back to Stanley. Stanley up for Fulford to Shaq into the corner. Shaq races after it. Thought Shaq came out of the net. Shaq bumped into him. Hopefully ran into Alex Faulkner and Bruce McGregor has it. In pass for Faulkner, hit the back of the skate, gets it over for McGregor. McGregor was hit by Stanley and knocked down. Hopefully. A long pass for Nevin, hit his stick. Andre Tonovo handed it right to Horton. Horton passed out by Alex Faulkner. He was hit by Nevin and Nevin went down. Now then Pulford runs into Faulkner as Nevin gets a break on the right wing. Pete going at number 18 into the corner. A long pass on the right wing for Bruce McGregor, hit the back of his skate. Nevin runs into McGregor, Faulkner's hit again by Pulford. Bill Gadsby to Andre Pronovo, his pass at center, goes right to Shaq. Tapping it over the line. Pete going at number 18 behind the Detroit net. Play is called, and there will be a face-off in the Detroit zone because Goigan was holding it behind the net, delaying play. Now the face-off is in the Detroit zone to the right. Hopefully with Shaq and Nevin, Martin and Sammy on the defense, and now it's Michael McDonald, Alex Del Vecchio, and Gordy Howe, Doug Barkley, and Marcel Turnbull. one nothing Detroit. At the 412 mark, there's a shot that went high and wide of the Detroit net. A clearing pass out of center. Jack. Juice it into the Detroit zone and goes behind the Detroit net. And Terry Sotchuk leaves it there for Doug Barkley, number five. A long pass over here for Packer McDonald too far. Slides down the ice and Horton's back for it. Pass to Pulford. Pulford stopped by Marcel Pornobo. He's up over the leaf line, and it passed to Shaq. It's fed up to Nevin. Nevin going over the line. Nice to get around Doug Barkley. Pass it right in front, and Pulford comes up with it. Took his shot. Sotchuk steering it right back into the corner. Hiker McDonald is hit. Horton to Nevin. Nevin shot it around behind the net. Pulford after it. Doug Barkley beat him to it. Sotchuk steered it into the corner by shooting it there. Martin stopped by Parker McDonald, and Parker McDonald long pass to Del Vecchio. Back to Parker McDonald. Here's the shot. He hit the post. Parker McDonald hit the post. Shot goes to the corner. Bauer to Horton. He's checked. Del Vecchio lets one go, and Hopper comes up with it. He just sits it out to center right. 
Leafs changing on the go. A pass for Alex Del Vecchio is offside. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. A real buy for motoring shoppers. Kodak 8 movie camera, only $19.99 at Esso Dealers now. We have played five minutes and 35 seconds of the first period. One nothing Detroit. Huck hit a skate. Army Elman skate and went into the leaf bench, so there's no further play and a face-off outside the blue line. Elman with Stasiak and Floyd Smith. And Keon dicked up and George Armstrong. On the face-off, picked up. Turning at his own blue line. Up the center. Flip one that hit Goygan. Duff shoots it into the Detroit zone. Sachak out of the net, scoops into the corner. Boyd Smith passed it. Duff took his shot, and that was stopped by Sachak. Keon off the board to Brewer. Brewer let his shot go. Playing into the corner. Keon after it. He's based on the boards, but Keon comes up with it, and he's checked by Floyd Smith. Elman to Stasiak. Up the center ice. Up over the leaf line. A drop pass for Elman. Takes his shot, and that was stopped. Bob Bond to Dave Keon. Tipped it out at center ice. Pete Goygan over to Bill Gadsby. Gadsby handed it to Keon. Over the line with Bond. Back to Bond. He shoots the shot. Takes off it, and strong. Let it go. And that was stopped by Sachuk. Keon falls. Huck goes out to center. Carl Brewer. Shooting it over the line. Sawchuck stopping that. Stasiak shoots it around the boards. It comes back to Bob Bond. His shot was deflected to Keon. Keon back to Bond. Another shot. Armstrong took a whack at it, and Sawchuck came up with it. And we have a face-off in the Detroit zone to the right. one nothing. Hal from Del Vecchio and McDonald at 254 has been the going play in the game so far. Hal, Del Vecchio, Larry Jeffrey, number 14, along with Doug Barkley and Marcel Tonovo. On the face-off, Stewart was checked. Gordy Howe after it. Pass it out to center right where Horton stops it. Horton takes a long shot into the corner. Bounces in front and Sawchuck gives it to Marcel Pronovo. He fell. Omelette passed it back to the blue line and Larry Jeffrey goes after it. Horton beat him to it. Del Vecchio gets it over the line and ends up behind the leaf goal. Gordy Howe after it. He's bumped. And Stewart goes away on the right wing with Mahavlich. Pass from Mahavlich over the line. And play is called outside at the blue line. We have played seven minutes and 33 seconds of the first period. One nothing Detroit. Del Vecchio, Jeffrey, Gordy Howe, Kelly with Stewart and Mavlich. Horton shot it into the Detroit zone. Behind the net, it goes into the corner. Blackley is hit by Kelly, pass it out in front of the net. Here's Horton's shot. That was wide. It came right in front of the net, and they wrap it back into the corner. Del Vecchio back for it. Gets away from Mahavlich. Plays it out. Stewart stops it. Marcel Pronovo comes to center. Pass it over the line for Howe. Howe trying to go in on goal. He gets his shot, and it's wide. Going to be a penalty here to the late to Mahavlich. Mahavlich will get a hooking penalty. That'll give Detroit the odd man advantage. They lead in the game 1-0.
a hooking penalty at 8.08. Now we'll see who Detroit sends out. Tony House staying out there. Floyd Smith, Vic Stasiak, Normie Elman, Val Fontaine. Leafs have Pulford, Nevin, Horton, and Stanley. On the faceoff, back to Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe getting set, takes his shot, and Bauer caught that one and held on to it. Off again in the Maple Leaf zone. Stanley, Fulford, Nevin, and Horton trying to kill off this penalty to Mahavlich. Stanley whacks it and it's going into the crowd. Face off will be in the same spot. Circle to the left of Johnny Bauer. Great play every man up. From the draw, Horton goes back for it, and he lifts a high one that is going down the ice. Mal Fontaine goes back for it, number 19, to Gordy Howe. Back to Fontaine, a foot pass for Stasiak, too far. Horton back in front of his own net, flipped it to the blue line. Gordy Howe kept it in. Howe passing it over to Oman. His shot hit a skate. Gordy Howe. Watched by Nevin. Howe centered it out in front. It comes back to Balfontaine. The shot. It's right in front of the net. Goes to Horton. Horton cleared it, but not out. Army Elman takes his shot, and Bauer's got that. Gordy Howe sits down beside him. And the faceoff will be in the... Maple Leafs zone to the left. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. Easy to load. Easy to operate. Easy to own. A Kodak 8 movie camera at Esso Dealers now. We have played nine minutes and six seconds of the first period. one nothing Detroit. Bill Gadsby let a shot go and hit Keon. Keon breaks away on the left wing with Armstrong, over the line. Keon trying to get in, and he was too well covered. There's going to be a penalty here. Play is called, and a penalty added up to Detroit. Bill Gadsby. Going to the penalty box, number four. Pete Goigan thought he may have had a penalty. And it was Bill Gadsby. in the penalty box. The teams are even at five aside. Mahavlich still in there. Gary Odruski is up there for the first time. Number 22. Playing with Marcel Pronovo. Balfontaine back to Marcel Pronovo. Pronovo starts up towards his own blue line. Up the center ice. A pass to Odruski over the line. Nagoski passed it back, and Keon goes down the ice with Armstrong. Brewer clearly. Keon took his shot wide. Armstrong gets the rebound. Too well covered, and... Doug Buckley, number five, clears it to the blue line. Nagoski's watched by Brewer. Armstrong back at center. Passing it to Kent Douglas, number 19. To Brewer. Over the line for Armstrong. Armstrong's shot is wide. Keon tried to center it in front. He did, and Marcel Provo was there to cover up. To Odrowski too far. Brewer going back for it. 9.17, the time of the holding penalty to Gadsby. Here's Odrowski getting a shot. Brewer nearly gave it away right in front of his own net. Alfontaine, number 19. 
Passing it back to Doug Barkley, who shot it out to Odrowski. To Val Fontaine, the Leafs have the man advantage. Odrowski over the line outside. Detroit one. Round of Maple Leafs, no score. At the 10.31 mark of the first period. Gordy Howe has scored the only goal of the game so far from Alex Del Vecchio and Packer McDonald at 2.54. Comes back to Doug Barkley, a long shot into the corner. Douglas to Kelly. Mahavlich back to Kelly. Back to Mahavlich. Mahavlich up at center. Over the Detroit line. Shot it to the open wing. Val Fontaine goes after it. Mahavlich steps in ahead of him, but Fontaine fights for it. It's played to the blue line. Douglas a pass in front, and Doug Barkley has it. And just clears it out to center right. A pass for Mahavlich for Stewart. Failed to click. Bruce McGregor shooting it over the line. Kelly. Bringing it up from south, up to center. Got it over the line, Val Fontaine played it, but not out. Mahavlich handed it to Bruce McGregor to Bill Gadsby, back to Bruce McGregor. Over the line, stopped by Douglas. Douglas' pass stopped by Doug Barkley, over the line. Here's his shot, and Bauer stopped that. Kelly is checked by Howe. Howe standing the right front, McGregor shot, and stopped by Bauer. The puck is still in the lead zone as Alex Del Vecchio trying to center it. Back to Marcel Poe over in front for Gordy Howe. And he was stopped by Bauer. Kelly can't get it out. Stewart gets a break. Up with Mahavlich. He's over the line. He shoots it. And Sachuk stopped it. And Stewart missed the rebound. Gordy Howe to Del Vecchio. Where he goes at center. Turns back towards his own blue line. Now he starts back up again with a pass to Parker McDonald. Takes a long shot into the lead zone and Stanley's back for it. Stanley to Shaq. Off the board. Shaq went after it, but Bill Gadsby beat him to it and the puck was deflected into the crowd. They played 12 minutes. 25 seconds. Of the first period. 1-0 Detroit. Crawford with Shaq and Nevin facing Alex Faulkner, number 12, Andre Tronovo, number 15, Roy Smith, number 17. Crawford takes a long shot wide. Faulkner is checked. Nevin couldn't get his drive. Shaq comes up with it. A pass right in front, and Gadsby covered Crawford. And Pete Goigan shoots it off the boards to Andre Tronovo, who cleared it out and down the ice. Alan Stanley back for it. Long pass is knocked back into the lead zone. The laid whistle as Horton touches it. And since he was going back, they call it immediately. One nothing to score. Favor of Detroit. Bruce McGregor back out on the right wing now with Alex Faulkner who fell. Horton moves up to center. He takes a long shot that was high. Bruce McGregor flicks it to the blue line and clears it out. Stanley back to Horton. Horton off the boards for Nevin. Nevin ran into Goigan. Goes into the corner. Hopefully runs into Andre Pronovo. It's played to the other wing. Bruce McGregor lost it. Stanley took his shot. It's right in front of the net. Andre Pronovo just clears it out and down the ice. Bauer gives it to Horton. Horton. Shooting it off the board to Pulford. Pulford at center. Takes a long shot that's wide. That shot tips it behind the net. Goigan, a flip pass for Andre Pronovo. He's bumped. And Keon. Over the line to Shaq. 
Jack tried to center it. Nevin poked at it. Horton moves up on the... And takes his shot. It's right in front of the defense. Hook loose. Shaq goes after him. He's too well covered. Back up for Alex Faulkner. Long shot. Bauer knocked it into the corner. Faulkner goes after it. Tried to center it. And Stanley, too far for Nevin. Up over the line for Marcel Cotobo. He ran into Stanley. Up the ice for Armstrong. Gets it over the Detroit line. Shot it into the corner behind the net, into the far corner. Duff moves up, took his shot, and Sotchuk stops it. I sell Cronobo for Vic Stasiak, number 11. Way goes, a long pass at center by Brewer. Brewer touches it before it crosses the red line. And he's behind the goal with it. Now he's starting out. Pass to Dave Keon, number 14, up at center. Tried to go through, and he tried to drag the puck. Duff moves in, and he fanned out a shot. Way goes to Troy. Alman, Troy, Smith, and Vic Stasiak. The three of them are over the line. Stasiak takes his shot. Bauer caught it, but it was offside. Faceoff will be outside the blue line. Kelly comes out with Mahavlich and Stewart. Vaughn and Brewer. Alman, Howe, and Stasiak. And then Packer McDonald is coming over the boards, and so is Alex Silvecchio. One nothing Detroit. Four minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this first period. Bouncing shot that Bauer had to come out of his net to stop. Carl Brewer to Bob Vaughn too far. Brewer. Behind the leap goal. Pass to Bob Vaughn. Up for Kelly. Stopped by Gordy Howe. Howe a pass. Stopped by Brewer. Brewer to Stewart off his skate. Beat Goygan. Cleared it out. Kelly brought it in offside. Four minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first period. One nothing Detroit. On the faceoff, Del Vecchio back to Pete Goygan, who goes into the corner for it. Number 18. Shot it and is deflected by Gordy Howe down the ice. It's going over the red line. Touched by Brewer. It'll be icing. So we have a faceoff in the Detroit zone. Howe out there with Del Vecchio. Parker McDonald, Bill Gadsby, Pete Goyke. Iron Brewer playing on the defense of the Leafs and up inside the blue line. A shot, Sotchuk had to stop that. Kelly kicked it into the corner. He's too well covered by Del Vecchio. Parker McDonald to Gordy Howe to Bill Gadsby, bringing up the center, knocked down by Brewer. Brewer, pass for Mahavlitz, he's over the line, back to Stewart. Stewart took his shot and hit Mahavlitz on the skate. Hunker McDonald with Gordy Howe to center. Del Vecchio trailing. Back to Howe and he missed it. Kelly to Mahavlitz. Over with Kelly. They're going in three of them. A pass in front for Stewart. He missed it. Hunker McDonald, Del Vecchio and Howe. A pass for Gordy Howe. Over the line. Tried to go around Brewer and he was too well covered and knocked down. Brewer. Up the center. Too well covered by Del Vecchio and Parker McDonald. Now Del Vecchio checked by Vaughn. Parker McDonald wrapped it over the line. Brewer has it. Long pass for Pooper. Up over the Detroit line. Pooper took his shot. Sotchuk stopped that. Buck isn't in against the boards. Floyd Smith holds it there for a face off. And this game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. What a value.
a Kodak 8 movie camera, 1999. SO dealers have it. Don't miss out. Order yours now. Two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first period. One nothing Detroit. Stasiak a pass at center, stopped by Stanley. Hoping. Takes a long backhand that starts a caught on his arm. Nice up pro number, number three. A pass stopped by Shaq. Shaq's pass for Nevin. Nevin trying to center it. It goes against the board. Normie Elman with it. Clears it to the blue line and out. Nevin was knocked down by Doug Barkley, and they have to wait for him to get onside. And he just gets up there and shoots it right back into the Detroit zone. Next stage, Jack number 11. Coming up to center ice. Gets over the line. Pass it to Shaq. Shaq behind the leaf goal. A foot pass hit Nevin. Bounced in between Marcel Pronovo and Doug Barkley, but he gets it over to him. It hits Stasiak, and Nevin gets a chance. Away goes Nevin to center, over the line. Took his shot, and it was wide. Dotschak stopping it. Two lead players go after it. Hope it back to Horton. There's the shot, and that's wide. Bearing pass up for Stasiak, stopped by Shaq. I saw Pronovo to Floyd Smith. Three of them, over the line. Elman takes the pass. Gets away from Stanley, trying to center it. He was chased out to the side. Vic Stasiak comes up with it and hands it to Pope. Pope goes down the ice with Shaq. Over the line to Shaq. Back to Nevin and it's outside. Face off will be outside the Detroit blue line. one nothing Detroit. One minute and 19 seconds remaining in the first period. Top outside the Detroit blue line. On the face off, Keon back to Duff. Duff shot knocked down by Gadsby. A clearing pass to Del Vecchio. Bond ran into him. And Brewer. Getting over the line with Keon. A pass back to Brewer, and he just couldn't get set for a drive. Pete going at number 18. A pass hit Keon State. Del Vecchio. Takes a long shot, that bounce, Bauer had to stop that one. And Duff, off the board, handed it to Gordy Howe, a shot. Gordy Bauer is stopping that, and now it's a chance for Dick Duff. Duff, stopped by Gordy Howe. Gets over the line, a pass stopped by Armstrong. Armstrong going over the Detroit line. Takes his shot, Sotchuk stopped that. Gets it into the corner, Keon goes after it with Armstrong. Armstrong and Keon, but Del Vecchio covering the leaf player along the board. Twenty-three seconds remaining in the first period. One nothing for the Detroit Red Wings. Keon with Duff and Armstrong, Bond and Brewer, all up inside the blue line. Del Vecchio, Howe, Ullman, Marcel Pronovo, and Bill Gadsby. On the faceoff, it comes back to Ullman from Del Vecchio. He goes to the far wing. He's checked. Keon let a shot go, was knocked down by Gadsby. There's a long shot. It's offside at the Detroit blue line. Let Gordy Howe stick into the crowd. And that nearly started something. They stop outside the blue line.
Neon remains out with Duff Van Armstrong. Douglas and Horton on the defense. Al Mundell, Vecchio, and Howe. With Marcel Pronovo and Bill Gadsby. A pass for Gordy Howe. Took a shot into the corner. Horton takes Holman into the board. And there goes the buzzer. They'll end the first period with Gordy Howe coming up with the only scoring play in this game so far. And so at the end of the first period, the score, Detroit Red Wings 1, Toronto Maple Leafs, no score. Gotcha. This is a Kodak Hawkeye 8mm movie camera. And it's just about the most exciting buy your neighborhood Esser dealer has ever offered. And it's yours for just $19.99. You could expect to pay as much as $35 for a camera of this type. The Hawkeye 8 is the perfect partner to take on holidays, to bring back priceless motoring memories. And it's the easiest movie camera in the world to use. Light settings are made in a jiffy with this handy sundial. And to power the Hawkeye, just wind and then fold away the handle. Sight your shot through the built-in viewfinder and press the button. You know, it's so easy to load and use a child can make movies, indoors or out. You can gather once-in-a-lifetime memories of your children, capture the wonders of nature on your travels, enjoy candid shots of your family and friends. And you can buy this Hawkeye 8 at Esso Dealers wherever you see this display, either on the spot or with this handy mail order form. The Hawkeye is fully guaranteed by Kodak, and you can use your Essomatic credit card if you wish. Get it now, your Kodak Hawkeye 8 millimeter movie camera, just $19.99 at your neighborhood Esso Dealers. He's right with the times, with more value, more products for you, the motoring shopper. Good evening, everyone. Frank Selke, Jr. in the dressing room corridor at Olympia Stadium. Each of the six National Hockey League clubs has a great deal of tradition and uh, history of which they are justifiably proud. And we'd like Ward Cornell now to come in and tell you about the Detroit Red Wings Hockey Hall of Fame. Ward, if you will. Thank you, Frank, and good evening, everyone. And in this small alcove off the main court of the Olympia, across from the Red Wing dressing room and just down from the visitor's dressing room, is the Hockey Hall of Fame for the Detroit Red Wings. And let's take a look. First of all, all around the top are pictures of great players of the past. You're seeing now Sid Howe, uh, one of the great players in the early 30s who played up into the 40s. Ebby Goodfellow, one of the great defensemen with the Detroit Red Wings. And moving down below, Mud Brunito, who scored a very famous goal in a long overtime, and you'll hear more about that later. And one of the great defensemen of the Red Wing history and the National League history, Jack Stewart, Black Jack Stewart. Down here, some trophies. This trophy here is uh, for the most sportsmanlike member of the Red Wings, chosen by his uh, teammates in the press. And this year it was Parker McDonald who was the winner. This trophy here is awarded for the most valuable player on the team. And actually, they're starting to call it the Gordy Howe Trophy because he's won it so many times, and of course, he won it this year. These two trophies in here are for the junior Red Wings play. This Trans-Canada Trophy, this large one here in the center, for the outstanding defenseman with the Red Wings each year. Bill Gadsby won it this year. He won it last year. And moving up uh, to the pictures again, we have Bucko McDonald, uh, who was an all-star defenseman with the uh, Red Wings, and uh, he was noted as one of the best body checkers in Detroit history. Bill Quackenbush, another great defenseman. Marty Berry was part of a very famous Red Wing line, and then Don Grosso. Moving over here, Mr. James Norris, the president of the hockey club from 1932 to 52, and Jolly Jack Adams, the uh, coach at one time and general manager from 27 right through until now. Down below, Johnny Mowers, one of the great goalkeepers. Sid Abel, a former captain and all-star, and uh, also, of course, now the coach. Here's the Art Ross Memorial Trophy for the leading point scorer in the league and, of course, won by Gordie Howe this year the sixth time. And now we shift over this stick and puck for the 1,000th point Gordie Howe's uh, stick and also the puck, the most number of points ever scored in a season. This trophy down here, uh, as well as having a certain amount of humor to it, also has a certain amount of affection. It is awarded 
to the player uh, who has the most injuries or who makes the greatest show of injuries during the year. And this year it was given to Marcel Pronovo for his many, many hours on the rubbing table. And as a matter of fact, he has the honor of being the only Red Wing ever to win it twice. Moving up to the pictures, George Hay, Reg Noble, up to the top, Ted Lindsay, and uh, Jimmy Orlando. The trophy in the center is given to the rookie of the year on the Red Wings this year by Doug Barkley. Actually, this year's trophy was on the other side, but it was taken away because uh, Doug thought it was his and wasn't supposed to stay in the Hall of Fame. One of the great forwards of all time, Laurie Ori up top, another teammate of his was Herbie Lewis, along, of course, uh, with Marty Berry, who was in that line, Berry, Ori, and Lewis. Down below, Doug Young and Carson Cooper, another great defenseman for the Red Wings, and down in below, Honey Walker, the first trainer uh, of the Red Wings who stayed with them for a great deal of uh, the early years of the Red Wings. Well, we'll have more about the Detroit Hockey Hall of Fame with Frank Selke, Jr., and his guest after this message. Planning any trips? Well, before you take off, don't forget to call in at your ESSO dealers and make sure you have everything you need for happy camping. ISL Fuel, for instance, is specially designed for outdoor naphtha gas type stoves, lanterns, and catalytic heaters. Then there are Atlas flashlight batteries and Atlas flashlights, great for car, camp, and cottage. Your Imperial ESSO dealer has the right products at the right prices for your car or wherever your car takes you. here fighting as to which one is going to stand up on the ramp and be the tallest. Jim, uh, let's saw off right now and have a, a little bit of a discussion about the tradition which goes into the Hall of Fame here in Detroit. Uh, whose idea was it to establish uh, this memento to the great people who have contributed to the Detroit Hockey Club? Well, Frankie, it's quite a tradition. Uh, Mr. Adams actually is the one that started it. He always uh, backed everything that was mentioned about the Hall of Fame and uh, it was, uh, it's controlled by the Detroit uh, Hockey Writers Association. Uh, incidentally, they, they vote every year, and uh, last year they voted uh, Ted Lindsay and Jimmy Orlando, two great hockey players for Detroit in the past, and this year, Normie Smith. Uh, he was voted in this year. By the, uh, uh, Normie Smith uh, is pretty well known to uh, hockey fans in the Montreal area, uh, probably to uh, hockey fans all across Canada, but particularly in Montreal. Jim, refresh our memories with what he did to our good old Montreal Maroons way back when. Well, Frankie, uh, way back, I uh, can't remember the exact year, but uh, Normie, incidentally, that night uh, uh, stopped 92 shots, and the game went to uh, till 2.25 in the morning, and he had a shutout, and uh, that was the game that Madera Mud Brunato scored the winning goal in the longest game in, in the National Hockey League. We remember it very well, Jim, uh, uh, with some, uh, you know, a little bit of disgust. Uh, after all, we, we do cheer for Montreal. Now, Jim, you had a lot to do with helping Mr. Adams set up this Hall of Fame as it exists today. Could you tell us some of the, uh, the things that went into setting it up in the first place? Well, actually, Frank, uh, uh, Jack was behind everything, as I said before, and uh, anything that was mentioned uh, about honoring these players, Jack was always behind his players when they were finished. He tried to do everything for them after after they finished their careers. Uh, fellows like Normie Smith is uh, doing wonderful in Detroit here now. He's a sales manager for a metal company. And uh, all these Hall of Famers, are 90% of them are around here today. Fellows like Carson Cooper, who is a chief scout here and a, one of the best scouts in the business. Larry Ory, uh, he passed away, but uh, one of the prettiest little hockey players that was ever on the Detroit club. And uh, Jack had all these fellas, and uh, Jack was a fighter, and he always liked fighters. You're very proud of what you have here. We definitely are. Jim, if you were to turn around and you could take one of those players who is pictured behind you and put him into that game tonight, which one would you take? Well, I'd like to take quite a few of them, but uh, fellas like Jack Stewart and Jimmy Orlando would uh, make the Toronto Maple Leafs keep their head up, I'll tell you that. I would say that your club is making the Leafs keep their head up. This is the best game of, of all four so far, I would say. And I have to mention Ted Lindsay. Uh, I'm sure he'd come up with a few goals. Teddy was a great left winger, and in my book, I think he's the greatest we've ever had. Now, Jimmy, uh, it's time to go, but I think all of us connected with hockey are very proud of what you people have done here in Detroit. Uh, I hope you expand your Hall of Fame. I hope you have a great deal of success in the future. Thank you, Frank. Thanks very much. Ward, would you like to step in? Thank you, Frank. And I have a gentleman, had he been with the Detroit Red Wings ever, I'm sure he would have been a Detroit Hall of Famer, the Assistant General Manager of the Leafs, King Clancy. Hello, Ward. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm pretty right good. Right about now pretty with the 4 one nothing. 
That doesn't bother me a bit, Roy. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, we'll come on and win this hockey game tonight. Uh -huh. Well, now, what were your sort of impressions of that whole period? Well, I thought it was a pretty good period. I thought the Detroit team are red hot. They have to be red hot when Gordy Howe can get a break like he got there tonight, come down the wing and fired that uh, shot from about 60 feet, and it hit Johnny uh, Bauer on the glove and bounced into the net. This was, this was more or less of a routine stop for Johnny, and the puck bounced into the net, and uh, I don't know, I think perhaps that might, uh, that spurred the Detroit club on a little. They're, and when I say they're red hot, they've iced the puck about four or five times, and it's gone right on our net, so they're playing in a lot of luck, too. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was wondering tonight, I felt that the, the Red Wings were hitting a little bit harder than they have so far in this series. Would you say that was so or not? I don't think so, Ward. I don't think that they try and out-hit our club. I know that they can't out-hit out -hit our club. If we, if we, uh, if they start to hit, why, we can come right back. And uh, we, we built it a few. Alan, Alan Stanley gave a two or three real good checks in there in that period. And uh, Tim Horton, and I want to tell you that uh, uh, this game is not over by any matter of means as yet. Keaton, how tough is it on a club like when the Leafs came out on the ice and headed to their dressing room sort of line by Detroit fans to sort of give the players a needle? Is, is this tough on them or not? It's all in good fun, but it's a needle. No, know? they don't bother about that at all. Well, in fact, they wouldn't know they were there, the players coming in. Uh, people say things to you, but you never hear them as you're going by into the dressing room. Your, your uh, mind is all on the hockey game, and uh, they're just thinking about uh, the next period. Mm -hmm. Well, now, what about uh, the staying over, the two-day layoff? When we were, you were in uh, Dearborn, Montreal, you came back. That's now, this right. time you stayed where? We stayed in Dearborn, Michigan, at the Dearborn Inn, uh, mm -hmm. a wonderful spot to stay. And uh, it's very quiet, and I, I know that the players enjoyed it there. This is uh, just what they wanted, a good rest away from mm -hmm. everybody and everything. And, uh, of course, a lot of people look, looking for tickets, and the players are away, and they can't get in touch with them mm -hmm. there, which tends to give them... Uh, a little more time to themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you feel that everything's going to be still all right for the league? I know that Punch is in there now, really, really giving them the business. And uh, I, I know that before this thing is over, they, this Detroit team will know they're in a playoff. Thank you very much, Team Clancy. In just a moment, Bill Hewitt on the play-by-play -play of the second period. To find better cars on better roads, more places to see, places to be. You're sure to find a great new sense of confidence. Drive anywhere, never again, because your imperial Expo dealer is right, right, right with the time. Your imperial Expo dealer is right. Right, right, right with the time. Ward Cornell again, and if we can shout over top of the crowd, Gump Worsley, our NHL star back for as our expert. What do you think of that period, Gump? I think it was a very good skating period. That Detroit had many chances to, to have a comfortable lead, but uh, Southwark made a great save on a rebound on a shot by Bond. But I think uh, to look for more skating, more hard hitting. Uh -huh. I think uh, it's an even game. Uh, Detroit maybe have a little bit of the better of the play, but other than that, I think it's going to be a tight game. Jumper on a shot like the house when he's just inside the blue line, and you've had many of them in your in your hockey career. What is it? Does it just come hard? Is it close? Does it got English? What? I think that shot there. Gordy missed it and it dropped. It, it flopped uh, over and it dropped and hit Johnny on the bottom of the, the stick club and just fell in behind him. Are those often the, the toughest ones to stop or not? Well, they are because they're more or less a change of pace. You're expecting a drive, and it ends up like a baseball pitcher throwing a change of pace at you. And one other question, remember, the other night when we were chatting, we were down, I guess this was in the other series, uh, we were talking, you were mentioning about how Sachet seemed to be down low and not, uh, down on the ground more tonight. Would you say he was up more? I think he is. I think he's standing straight up. I think the only time he did go down was on the rebound on the shot by Bond, and he made a great save on it. I think... Uh, He's better off the way he's playing tonight than other nights. Right. Well, Gump, we'll be looking forward to you'll be back in the next period. And now it's up top to the press box. Teams are coming out on the ice now for the 
second period with Detroit leading by a score of one to nothing. The Leafs are the first to make their appearance and will defend the area to my right wearing their white uniform and Detroit will be coming out in just a moment will defend the area to my left. Referee Vern Buffy, number four, he's out in the ice now along with his linesman Matt Pavlich, number five and Ron Wicks, number 11. Only scoring play of the game so far has been off the stick of Gordie Howe, a long shot that eluded Johnny Bauer. It was too hot to handle. He was given passes from the Vecchio and Packer McDonald, and the time of the goal was 2.54. Two penalties in the first period. Bob was for hooking at 8.08, and Gadsby for holding at 9.17. Detroit are leading 1-0, and the Leafs outshot Detroit in the first period, 13-12. All set to start the second period now. Hellman out there with Floyd Smith and Vic Stasiak. Dion with Neffin Armstrong. Martin and Stanley on the defense. Bill Gadsby and Marcel Cronobo for Detroit. All set to go and the fans are sitting down again now. And all set to go for the second period. And from the faceoff, Stanley moves it over to Horton who gets over the red line and shoots it in. Ends up in the corner. Dick up. Stopped by Floyd Smith, Marcel Pronovo. To Floyd Smith, who was knocked down by Stanley. Clearing pass to the blue line, goes out over the line, and Horton gives it to Stanley. Stanley shoots it right back in again. Sotchuk stopping it. Gadsby chopping it for Stasiak. Stasiak watched by Armstrong to Bill Gadsby. Back to Stasiak. It hit Keon, and Horton slaps it over on the right wing. Armstrong couldn't get it over the line, fix Stasiak. Checked by Keon, who goes back into his own zone for it. Keon. Up the center. Marcel Pronovo to Floyd Smith. Gets it over the line. Pass it out in front, and Stanley just flicks it to center right. Doug Berkeley moves up with a backhand that bounces wide of Bauer. And Horton goes in behind the net and comes out with it. Tim Horton. Up the center. A foot shot for Duff that goes wide. Terry Sotchuk out of the net. Steered into the corner. Keon moved up. Pass it right in front. That's a score! Armstrong from Keon, and it's all tied up. 1-1. One, one. George Armstrong was left uncovered. Keon put it right on his stick, and he fired it right into the net. Armstrong from Keon. And the Leafs have tied it 1-1. One minute and 17 seconds. George James Strong from Dave Keon. Gasly and Pulford. Mixing it up, and Pulford gets the gate right off the bat. He high stick Gadsby. So the Leafs will be a man short. is the time of the high-sticking penalty to Pulford. Score is tied 1-1. Eddie Joyelle, number 21, has moved out now with Packer McDonald and Gordie Howe, Alex L. Vecchio, and Val Fontaine. Ron Stewart. Bob Nevin will try to kill off the penalty with Brewer and Bob Bond. And the Red Wings go back for it. Val Fontaine, number 19. A pass for Packer McDonald. Having difficulty, but gets it to Fontaine and brings it up to center. Up over the leaf line, it went past Gordy Howe's skate and back out the center. Packer McDonald, Alex Del Vecchio. To Packer McDonald. His pass stopped by Nevin, gets it again, rolls it over the line, and Brewer races after it into the corner. He lifts a high one, it's going, and it's into the crowd. Matter of fact, uh, 
unusual thing happened. I was just watching the penalty box, and a fan who was sitting down from Pulford rushed up and deflected the puck with his thumb past Pulford's head. Otherwise, it may have hit him. But the fan just rushed up and deflected the puck with his thumb. Here's Gordy Howe, a pass right in front, a shot, and Bauer stopped that off Eddie Joyal. Bob Nevin can't get it out. Joyal trying to center it in front of the net. Gordy Howe took a whack at it, he's got it again, trying to clear it out in front here, he has it again. Gordy Howe watched by Stewart, Gordy Howe still has it, takes his shot, and that's why. Now Fontaine's drive, it deflects across the goal mouth. And Carl Brewer flicks it, but not out. Here's Alex Delvecchio to Joyal. He fakes the shot, lets it go. It's all around the leaf net. Playing for the score. Joyal, number 21. And Detroit lead it 2-1. And a fan throws some colored ink on the ice. Blue. That was a sustained drive. In the lead zone. And Detroit go ahead 2-1. from Gordy Howe, and a two to one, Detroit. And they'll need the scrapers out here, again. An egg down near Bauer, and one on the far side gets preference over the ink. a while to scrape up all that ink. However, they've got another couple of eggs to go anyway. In the first period, Gordy Howe from Del Vecchio and Packer McDonald at 2.54. Detroit led 1-0. Two penalties, Mahavlis for hooking at 8.08 and Gadsby for holding at 9.17. Leafs outside Detroit 13-12. In the second period, Armstrong tied it up from Keon at 1.17. And then eight seconds later, Pulford picked up a high-sticking penalty at 125. And at 238, Eddie Joyelle came through on a sustained drive in the Maple Leaf zone. Gordy Howe assisting, and Detroit have taken the lead for the second time in the game. They lead it 2-1. to one. This is the fourth game in the Stanley Cup Finals. Leafs leading in the series, two games to one. But this is the second game for the Red Wings at home. The Leafs winning their first two games at home. Red Wings winning their first one at home, and now after their second victory to tie the series. There's enough ink on the ice that brings out the wheelbarrow. How do they line up for the Leafs tonight, Larry Hillman? For the Red Wings, Roy McDonald, Howie Young, and added to the Red Wings, number 22, Jerry Ozowski. While we have a moment, let's have a look at the ice surface, which is 200 feet by 83. Largest pro crowd, 15,983 on March the 19th, 1961. Montreal won that one, 2 nothing. And the seating capacity is 12,500, but they're jammed into every nook and cranny here at the Olympia tonight. 
for George Armstrong. That was his third playoff goal. Gordy Howell's seventh. And for Eddie Joyell, his first. And a very important one for the Red Wings. The attendance is 13,971. 13,971. Looks like they've got it almost all scraped up now. Another egg on the other side, though, it has to be scraped up. And then we should be set to get underway again. Johnny Bauer had no chance, as you saw on that scoring play by Joyelle. He made his move, made the first stop, but Joyelle came from the side and tucked the puck into the net. They won't get all the uh, blue stain out of the ice. There's just one left now over the far side where the Detroit bench is. And in the circle, to the right of Johnny Bauer. Detroit Red Wings, two. Toronto Maple Leafs, one. And the Red Wings, who had a 1-0 lead, were tied 1-1. And then on the play that just happened, that caused all the throwing on the ice, Eddie Joyal coming through for the Red Wings with Gordy Howe assisting. So it's Detroit 2, Toronto Maple Leafs 1, and we're all set now to start play again in the second period. Leafs are back at full strength as a result of that goal. Hofford has gone to the bench. And it's Kelly with Litzenberger and Mahovlich, Horton and Stanley, Del Vecchio, Hacker McDonald, and Gordy Howe. Bill Gadsby with Pete Gorgon. Bauer to Tim Horton. Horton gives it to Mahovlich. Mahovlich coming up the center. A long shot, broke his stick. Litzenberger roll it right in front and Kelly missed the drive. Hacker McDonald goes back, lost it to Mahovlich. Here's a shot, and that hit Packer McDonald. Played around on the boards to Gordy Howe. He cleared it right on Mahovlich's stick, who gives it back to Stanley. Stanley to Horton. Horton's long shot off the boards. Mahovlich let one go that was wide. Litzenberger races into the right wing, and Packer McDonald a long pass for Del Vecchio, and Bowers stops it. Pass to Horton. Let's pass over for Mahomlich, too far. Litzenberger gets a hold of it. Lets it over the line. Moves in with a shot. Tatchuk stops that. Pete Goygan knocks it down. A pass over to Packer McDonald. He puts it up for Del Vecchio. Trying to be outside. And the faceoff comes back into the Detroit zone. Coming up to the four-minute mark in this second period, Detroit leading 2-1. We played four minutes less 12 seconds. Now the second period. Detroit are leading 2-1. Bob Bond over here for Brewer. Brewer takes a shot that goes into the corner. Back back, be back for it. Pulford watching him, centered it out in front. There was nobody there. Nevin hooked it away from Alex Faulkner. Pulford fights for it with Marcel Cronovo. Cronovo stopped by Shaq. Shaq was bumped by Bruce McGregor. Nevin bumped into Doug Barkley, and Sadchuk steers it back into the same corner. Play is called, and there's going to be a penalty here to Doug Barkley of Detroit, number five, for holding. Barkley will get a penalty. And 
And that'll give the Leafs the odd man advantage, six men to five. They fell in the game, 2-1. Four minutes and 12 seconds of the second period. Factory for holding. Keon, Duff Armstrong, Douglas, and Kelly. It's played out and down the ice by Detroit. Douglas goes back for it. Douglas up to center. Over to Armstrong, and he's tacked. Kelly. Pass for Keon. Trying to get in, Marcel Potable covers him, Keon centered it in front, and Satchuk covers up. Face off in the Detroit zone to the right. All set to go. Duff back to Kelly. Kelly took his shot. It's right in front. Armstrong took a whack at it. Sotchuk is lying down. He may have hurt himself. Sotchuk knocked down in front of the Detroit goal. And here comes Lefty Wilson, the trainer, out on the ice. Wilson is talking to Harry Sacek. Says he's all right. He may have had his wind partially knocked out of him when he came out of the gold crease. They were jamming in front. Armstrong's shot was wide of the net. And it was then that Sacek had difficulty getting up. Now well, he's all right and ready to go again. Two to one Detroit in the second period. Coming up to the five minute mark in 18 seconds. From the face off, it comes back to Kelly over to Douglas. He took his shot. Knocked down by Gadsby and Duff catch the rebound. Tried to pass it in front. Here's Keon with it. Armstrong right in front of the net and Keon was set. Way down the ice. Douglas back for it. Gets it ahead to Keon. Keon with Duff and Armstrong. Back to Duff. Duff to Keon right in front of the net. Duff shoots it. Oh, and he shot it over top of the net. Kelly, a pass to Duff. Got it right back into the Detroit zone again. Belfontaine after it. Watch by Armstrong. Armstrong kicks it to Duff. Right in front to Kelly, a shot. Gadsby knocks it down and holds onto it. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. The right way to run your lawnmower or outboard motor is with Esso Outboard Oil. Second period, Detroit two, Maple Leafs one. Litzenberger, Stewart, Mahavlet, Kelly, and Douglas. On the faceoff, Litzenberger in possession. Back for Kelly. Kelly over to Douglas. Douglas shot one. Knocked down by Gadsby. Mahavlet in front. Oh, Litzenberger wrapped at it, and it failed to find the target. Kelly. To Mahomlitz to Douglas, who wrapped it into the corner to Litzenberger. Litzenberger is jammed by Marcel Pronobo. Trying to get it loose. And they hold it there for a face-off. Face-off in the Detroit zone to the right. Lee's playing every man up. We're at the 5.58 mark of the second period. Martin and Stanley come over the boards now for the Leafs, replacing Kelly and Douglas. 
Essenberger clears it back for Horton. Here's a shot, high and wide. He races after it. Alman beat him to it. Horton whacked it with his glove. It comes all over the line. And Lissenberger brings it right back. A pass from a hot litch. And it's cleared back down the ice. That Brackley is back on the ice. It's right at full strength. Horton ahead for Lissenberger. Lissenberger shoots it into the Detroit zone. It ends up behind the net. Shot shot to Marcel Tronovo. Pass for Gordy Howe to Bill Gadsby. Gadsby, Doug Barkley, Elman and Howe. They're over the line. Gadsby to Doug Barkley and he went by. And Bauer shot it around on the board for Mahomlich. To Litzenberger, too far. Alan Stanley went after it. And Elman has it. Here's Howe loose on the right wing and he just failed to get it to him. Elman's going in on the left wing. Passing it back for Howe. He's checked by Litzenberger and Stewart gives Litzenberger a pass with Mahomlich over the line. Mahomlich stopped by Doug Barkley. And with Lessenberger was checked, and here goes Howe at center. Over the leap line. A pass for Elman. Elman stops. Passing it back for Marcel Tronovo. Here's the shot, and Bauer stopped that. And Popeye shoots it down the ice. It's going to the red line, but it didn't go over. It hit the boards and came back. Elman. Long shot into the lead zone, and Horton gets it. Barry Jeffrey checked him. And Pulford. A pass came out in front of the net. A shot, and Horton gets it. Ahead for Nevin. Nevin checked by Floyd Smith. Bill Gadsby clears it out to safety. And Nevin passes it back for Stanley. To Pulford. To Nevin. They're over the Detroit line. Nevin passing to an open wing. Horton moves up, takes his shot. Floyd Smith stopped it with a stick. Floyd Smith trying to get it out. He handed it to Shaq. Shaq, a lot of flip shot going. Bill Gadsby clears it the line, but not out. Bob Bond is there. Here's a shot, and that's knocked down. Floyd Smith clears it down to center. Pass Jeffrey down the ice. Bauer out of his net. Shooting it into the corner. Alman takes a shot, and Bauer stops that. And Bob Bond gets the rebound in the corner. A pass to Pulford with Shaq and Nevin. They're over the line. They're closing in. Nevin takes his shot, and that was stopped by the Detroit defense. Back for Floyd Smith to Larry Jeffrey at center. Up over the leaf line. The shot is wide. Army Elman checked by Shaq, who cleared it right to Pete Gregan. Pete Gregan on the Detroit shot hit Bond. Bond gives it to Nevin. Nevin, Pulford, and Shaq. One man back. They're going in together. Nevin to Pulford. He left it for Shaq. Oh, and Sajak made the save on Shaq from point blank range. Bond ran into Andre Pronovo. Lloyd Smith comes over the line. There's his shot high over the glass. And we play nine minutes and five seconds of the second period. Two to one Detroit with Terry Sajak making a dazzling save on Eddie Shaq. for Detroit, Alex Del Vecchio, Parker McDonald, Gordy Howe, Doug Barkley, and Marcel Pronovo. Keon Duff and Armstrong with Vaughn and Brewer. Lead into the leaf zone where Carol Brewer has it. Brewer on the left wing at the blue line. Up the center. He gets the puck away. Doug Barkley knocks him down. There's going to be a penalty here to Detroit. Brackley gets his second penalty in a row for Detroit. Faceoff will be in the Detroit zone on the right. the second period, Doug Barkley in the penalty box, and the faceoff is in the Detroit zone to the right. Detroit 2, Final Maple Leafs 1. Out there now, Marcel Pronovo 
Val Fontaine, Bill Gadsby, and Bruce McGregor. He on behalf of Armstrong, Kelly. Kelly let his shot go. At lost it and escapes. Gets it to Mahavlich. Mahavlich passes in front to Armstrong. His shot went over top of the net. Bill Gadsby trying to clear it up. Bruce McGregor finds an opening and shoots it down the ice. And Douglas back. Long pass for Mahavlich. Over for Armstrong. Armstrong gets it over the line. Al Fontaine back for it for Detroit. Flips it to the blue line and down the ice to center. Kelly turns for the leap. Now pass to Keon. Keon up at center. Leading a four-man rush. Back to Mahavlich. Mahavlich is passed for Armstrong. Goes into the corner. Back to Douglas. Douglas takes a shot. It hit Armstrong on the glove. Armstrong back for Kelly. Kelly was checked by Bruce McGregor. It goes out over the line and Kelly turns. Al Fontaine watches him. Kelly goes up over the Detroit line. He's knocked down by Marcel Tonovo. Bruce McGregor clears it but not out. Frank Mahavlich getting set. He's getting right in with a shot and Bill Gadsby fell in front of it and shot down the ice. Kelly back for it. Long pass for Litzenberger. Up for Mahavlich. Turns in his own zone. Pass ahead to Litzenberger. Up over the line. Takes his shot. Sotchuk stopped that. Got it to Val Fontaine. Fontaine shoots it down the ice. Leafs go back for it. Detroit, Detroit leading 2-1. to one. Red Kelly. Pass up for Litzenberger. It's deflected back in, and Douglas has it. Up to Litzenberger. Up over the line. He falls. Harris slapped it, and Bill Gadsby. Long pass for Doug Barkley. He's back on the ice. A pass for Oman. It goes into the leaf zone. Oman. Passing it for Doug Barkley, and Litzenberger gets it. Stopped by Marcel Pronovo. Shot it right back in again. Douglas, a pass to Duff, ahead to Harris. Harris goes up over the Detroit line. Pass to Duff, Duff straight in front, and Litzenberger missed it. Basiak, pass hit Harris to skate. Duff shot it into the corner, saw Chuck out of his net to Gadsby. Shot it down the ice, over the red line. It touched Bauer, so Stanley has to come up with it. The pass for Duff. He flicked it and hit Floyd Smith in the face. And he's cut. Over the line for Stasiak. His shot. Bauer caught that. Floyd Smith goes off for repairs as Stanley turns in his own zone. 2 to 1 for Detroit in the second period. As Horton tries to get away in the right wing. He's checked. Gadsby. A pass to Normie Elman. Gordy Howe's loose. Hits over to Howe. His shot hit a leg. Stasiak went after it. Pass it back to Gadsby, a shot. Bauer stopped that. Lay it off to the wing. How let one go wide. Alman keeps it in. It's a flex out to Nevin. Nevin up the center. Gets over the line and How took it away from him. Over for Stasiak and Del Vecchio. Back to Stasiak and Del Vecchio. A shot. Bauer caught it. And there's no further play. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. For marine products, make SO your first port of call. We have played 12 minutes and 12 seconds of the second period. Detroit 2, Maple Leaf 1. Face-off, Hooper, the pass to Nevin. Up with Shaq on his left. Nevin over the line, trying to cut in, still has it. Roll it in front, it comes back for Bob Bond. He takes the shot, Tata caught it. Face-off into Detroit zone to the left of Sotchuk. Right two. Maple Leafs one. All right, 
to go in the Detroit zone. Hopefully it lost the draw. Alex Faulkner, number 12. Pass for Marcel Pronovo, bumped into Nevin. They jam against the board. It comes up to Andre Pronovo, flicked it out to center right. Kyle Brewer. Stopped Alex Faulkner, fell. And Eddie Sack comes over the Detroit line. A pass for Nevin. Nevin was set. Ran into Andre Pronovo. Here's right in front to Nevin. Nevin shot it wide. Hooper missed the rebound and shot it over top of the glass. Nevin must have missed the net by five feet. We have played 13 minutes, 56 seconds. In this second period, Detroit two, least one. Andre Protovo, number 15. Trying to bring the puck out. Pulford watches him. Brewer stops it at center. A flip pass to Pulford. Over the line. Brewer. A holding penalty. Detroit lead 2-1. 14 8 14 minutes and 8 seconds gone by in this second period. Kyle Del Vecchio, Packer McDonald, Fontaine, and Joyal. Keon Armstrong, Horton, and Stanley. Goes back to Fontaine. Fontaine, a back pass to Packer McDonald. To Alex Del Vecchio, ahead to Gordy Howe. Pat Stanley, Howe took a shot, he was not flying. Puck was clear to hit Keon, here's Doyle. A pass for Fontaine. He passed it out in front of the net. Keon has it. Couldn't get out. Joyal. Pass off the board. Gordy Howe let it go. Hit Stanley. Gordy Howe from behind the net. Still has it. Pass it in front. Stanley to Horton. And Horton puts it down the ice. Alex Del Vecchio, number 10, back for it. In front of his own net, over to Packer McDonald at the blue line. Up he comes with Joy Allen Howe, over the line for Packer McDonald, right in front of Joy Allen. And his shot was stopped by Bauer. And Joy Allen was right in. Four minutes, 50 seconds, remaining in the second period. It's right two, at least one. Joyal, Packer McDonald, Alex Del Vecchio, and Val Fontaine, Douglas, Horton, Crawford, and Nevin. I'll set for the face off in Leaf Territory. Horton slapped at it, but not out. Fontaine started back into the corner. Horton was checked. Gordy Howe tried to center it in front, and it goes to Crawford. Crawford just finds an opening and shoots it down the ice. Patchuk leaving it for Fontaine. Fontaine, a flip pass to Gordy Howe at his own blue line. Howe turns around. Leading a four-man rush over the line. Del Vecchio stopped, jammed in on the boards, hit by Pulford. Howe, watched by Horton. Horton goes after it, flips it down the ice. Back for it, Bill Gadsby. Gadsby, a clearing pass to Gordy Howe. Over to Joyelle. Joyelle up the center, over the line. 
Trying to go through. He was too well covered. Bauer came out of his net. Joy Allen's knocked down. Here's Lynn right Cutter Bill Vecchio is shot and Bauer is shot back. Martin watched by Packer McDonald. Bear it off the boards to center right. Bearing pass to Joy Allen over the line outside. Face off will be outside the blue line. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit. It's the right time to spruce up your car with Atlas Polish and Cleaner from your Imperial SO dealer. Three minutes and 36 seconds remaining in the second period. Detroit two, at least one. Back to Bob Bond, over to Carl Brewer. Back to Bond again. Ahead for Kelly. Hit a skate and he lost it to Vic Stasiak, who gives it to Floyd Smith. Flips it over the line. Bob Bond, a flip pass from Mahavlich. Bauer had to give it to him. Mahavlich coming out. A flip pass too far for Litzenberger. Mahavlich gets it again. And away. Floyd Smith then a pass for Ullman. Alman up over the leaf line. He's bumped. Here's Vic Stasiak taking a shot. Bauer stops that and goes to the board. Litzenberger. Trying to get it out along the board. Gives it to Kelly. Kelly up for Mahavlich. One man back. Mahavlich over the line. Takes the shot. Pass it. And Sachuk and Gadsby combine to cover him. Comes back out over the blue line. Bob Bond off the board. Stasiak. Up over the leaf line. Takes his shot and Bauer stops that. Pass ahead to Mahavlich. Up for Kelly too far. Stopped by Gadsby. He in turn lasts it to Mahavlich. Gives it to Kelly. Kelly and Litzenberger going in together. Kelly waits. Takes his shot. Scores! Red Kelly. Let it go. And it's all tied up. Two all. Red Kelly. Screen shot. Caps the corner. And it's a two all tie. Now, whether that puck touched Litzenberger or cut in front of the net or not, I can't say, and I'll wait for the official score. You saw it happen. He came in front. But it looked like Kelly's shot caught the right side of the net all along. Detroit 2, Toronto Maple Leaf 2. Fern Buffy went over to the official scorer to get it straight. Now he's set for the face-off at center. Kelly. Bob Litch and Bond. It's Gordy Howe over the leaf line. He's going to swing it up. Picks it up. And there'll be penalties there. Seventeen forty one was the official time of Kelly's goal for Mahavlich and Barn. The two all tie, and now the teams are even now at five aside with Howe and Duff. A pair of nines in the penalty box. Second period. Penalties to Howe and Duff, and the score is tied to all. A 2-2 tie. Armstrong kicks it back to Stanley. Over to Hoyt. Long shot into the Detroit zone. 
Keon races in after it. Passes it back to Horton. Horton's shot was knocked down by Doug Barkley, who gives it to Alex Del Vecchio. Up to center. Over the line. Gets away from Stanley. Takes his shot, and Bauer shot that, and Del Vecchio went flying into the board. Away goes Keon and Armstrong to center. Up over the Detroit line. Armstrong shoots it, and a tie into the crowd. Face-off will be in the Detroit zone at the rim of the circle, and the face-off will be made by Matt Pavlich, the linesman. One minute and 26 seconds remaining to play in this second period, a two-all tie. Kelly Mahamlich, Vaughn, and Brewer. Alman, Gadsby, Marcel Pronovo, and Andre Pronovo. On the face-off, Brewer knocked it down, didn't see it. Alman hit by Brewer. Vaughn hit by Andre Pronovo. Has it in the corner, a flick pass to Kelly. Kelly a long pass for Mahavlich, up the center. Over the Detroit line. Mahavlich into the corner, stop, pass it right in front of the net, Vaughn shoots it. Oh, and he rifled it high over top of the net. That's for a minute to go. In the second period, score is tied, 2-2. Two, two. Eighth off in the Detroit zone. Kelly getting in front, knocks it into the corner. Marcel Pono, Gatsby was knocked down. Pass over to Andre Pronovo. Up the center. Over the leaf line. On straight him off to the board. Kelly a pass to Mahavlis. Back to Kelly. Coming over the Detroit line. Kelly moving in. Trying to pass it in front. Mahavlis plays it back to Bob Vaughn and he couldn't get a shot. Back up the ice for Andre Pronovo. Three of them up over the leaf line. Pass back to Elman. A shot. Bauer caught it and held on to it. Twenty seconds left in the second period at two all tie. Up in the lean zone to the left. Keon with Armstrong, Horton, and Stanley. Del Vecchio, Parker McDonald, Doug Barkley, and Bill Gadsby. On the faceoff, it ends up behind the leaf net. Horton goes after it. He played around on the glass, but not up. Parker McDonald shot it, and Bauer stopped that with his stick. Keon. A pass to Horton. Back up to Keon at center. He takes a flip shot at Sotchuk's stop. He can't get it out. He just whacked it at the last second as the buzzer went to end the second period. And it ends in a 2-2 tie. Well, it was 1-0 to start into the first period. Then Armstrong from Keon at 117, Joyal from Howe at 238, and Kelly from Mahomlich and Vaughn at 17-41. And so, at the end of the second period, the score, the Detroit Red Wings, two, the Toronto Maple Leafs, two. It's you. Yes. I'm glad. Really? What kept you? Busy. Busy? Heading the car service. So? Beastly chore. Why? Service station after service station. You could have called. No time. Not me. Who, then? Your SO dealer. Oh. Of course. Why? I'll be over the motoring shopper. Motoring shopper? Dependable service, actually. You don't say. Top drawer, merchandise. What? More than ever. Amazing. All for the motoring? Shopper. You're clever. Thanks. SO dealers are, too. Truly. They sell more than gasoline and oil. Like what? Atlas glass cleaner. Quite. Candy oil. I Joe. Household cleaner. Eat gas. Car waxes. My word. Atlas batteries. Ripping. Atlas tires. 
Yes. Splendid. Motoring shoppers get more from their SO dealer. Interesting. SO dealers are right for the time. It seems so. SO dealers make... Go on. Superior father-in-law. How do you know? Daddy's one. Ward Cornell again, and happy to have with us as our first intermission guest here between the second and third, the coach of the Montreal Canadiens, Phil Blake. So what do you think of this one? Ward, I haven't had a chance to see any of the other games. I saw the first game on uh, television. I've been out west for the other two. But that was a terrific period of hockey. In fact, the first one was very good also. Uh, I thought that uh, Toronto had a, a little bit more of the puck. They've had a better chance to score in the second period, especially... Uh, George Armstrong, who missed uh, two glorious chances to score, and Shaq, who missed a good chance. Uh, but I thought that in that first period that uh, Detroit had the better chance to score. Uh, it looked as if uh, Toronto was going to run uh, Detroit out of the rink for the first few minutes, but that uh, goal of Howe seemed to uh, upset them a little bit, and from there Detroit took over in that first period. But in this second period, I would say that uh, Toronto had more of the puck and uh, more legs, and they've had the better opportunities to score. Do you have sort of a feeling about the game now? I mean, uh, you, you've seen so many and been involved in so many. Do you get a feeling about a game? Well, uh, having played against Toronto and seeing them play that, that way against us, uh, I have a feeling that uh, Toronto have just a little bit more uh -huh. but, uh, for this game. Right, but let's not forget that Detroit Club, they've been fooling everybody all year, and uh, they came back in that last game, and uh, they never quit. So uh, are the Leafs playing any differently against Detroit than they did against your team? I mean, the same strategy, the same way or not? No, I thought they played just as well in those uh, two periods that played against us. Uh, they played very well against us. Uh, uh, anytime we made a mistake, it was curtains and they scored a goal. They're a well-balanced club and uh, they check hard. Uh, right from the goal out, the defense play well. Uh, they're a pretty good hockey club there. Well, now let's talk about yourself, So, At the end of the season, it was reported that you were thinking seriously of resigning. Mr. Selke on our television interview said he hoped you weren't going to, and have you decided? Uh, Ward, I'll tell you why I, uh, uh, I thought about resigning. I, I felt that I, I was just not getting to the players, and after the three playoffs that we've had the last three years, uh, I was very disappointed. As we know, we have an atrocious uh, record the last three years, uh, taking away the first five, which <laughs> I wish we wouldn't, but uh, uh, we've just played bad hockey and something has to be done. And I uh, had a talk with Mr. Selke, and I thought maybe that uh, with uh, somebody else in there, they'd be able to drive the club a little better, but uh, apparently he stalked me out of it. He's, he said that uh, after our record this year, it'd be a pretty poor time to, uh, to quit. I agree with them to a certain extent, but uh, they certainly will have to uh, make some changes for it because uh, uh, I don't know. We just can't. We've alibied in the first year about injuries when we lost the playoffs. We alibied again in the second year. Now we just can't alibi this year. We just didn't have a good playoff. We've only won five games out of the last three playoff series, and that's not good. Well, now, so when you say changes, uh, there's been a lot of talk that uh, maybe Boom Boom uh, is going to be traded. Can you say anything on this? Well, it's pretty hard to mention any names uh, right at the present, Lord. Uh, I would say that uh, there will be some change. I would say that a few of our players that have been with us for eight years probably we could uh, play better with another club. Uh, mm -hmm. And it would uh, maybe be better for the club and better for them, too. Mm -hmm. Also, when you mentioned changes, you just finished the Tour of the West. Did you see anything out there that you were really happy about? Uh, not too much, uh, boy. They're, they're playing very good hockey, very exciting hockey, but it's quite away from uh, uh, National League hockey right at the present. And uh, uh, there were a couple of players, but uh, uh, the one guy that <laughs> fooled me is an old-time uh, NHL player by the name of Nick Mikoski. He, uh, in that one game, he was by far the best man uh, on the ice, but you can't very well bring uh, a man that's 35 years old and has been in the league for that long back in this league. But they had uh, a few young fellows there that uh, wouldn't be surprising to, to see them in this league in a, in a year or two. Well, I certainly know that you're going to have some players up there, changes or no changes, and the Canadian will always be a strong contender. Thank you, so Thank you very much. Now it's up top to Frank Selke, Jr. Thank you very much, Ward, and a pleasure once again to reintroduce to you Howie Meeker and Milt Schmidt. Uh, fellas, I think this is probably the best game of the uh, 
the series so far, and I'd like your comments on the way the play has gone in the first two periods. Howie? Thanks very much, Frank. Well, the first period, I thought the score uh, ended uh, indicating the play, one to nothing for Detroit. Certainly, uh, Sawchuck only had one big save to make, and that was on a rebound off a shot by Bond. He made a fabulous save off Armstrong. At the other end of the rink, I kind of think that perhaps uh, Howe shouldn't have had his goal, but nevertheless, Bauer came through with three good saves after that to make up for it. How about you taking the second period? Right. <laughs> second period was very, very hard fun. First of all, Howie, I think it should be mentioned that it's very, very warm in this rink here this, uh, tonight, and uh, I'm sure that you can appreciate and I can appreciate just what they're going through down there, and uh, they're, they're perspiring, believe me. But it was a very hard fought to, uh, period, I thought. The check-in was very, very close, and it impressed me mostly. Uh, that was the, the, the defensive play by Bill Gadsby. I think that he stopped, probably stopped more shots than Sotchuk did in that second period. And he has been a powerhouse out there. And along with Horton, Horton has been playing very well on the, on the front of the defense. And it's uh, going to be anybody's ball game from here on in, and the third period should be very, very interesting. Let me ask you chaps a question now. There was a, there was a piece in the paper today in which Sid Abel said that if Terry Sawchuck came up with a big game for him, that he thought maybe they could go on and win this series. Do you feel that Terry has not played as well as he could have in the game so far? I'm going to ask well, you both that. I think that uh, Terry hasn't been as sharp uh, in, the, in the playoffs uh, up to the present time, but there are indications, indications occasionally when he has shown his old form, uh, particularly on the save which he made on Armstrong, and I have never seen uh, Terry move as fast. However, uh, I can understand Sid's thinking because Terry has always been a real good hot, uh, money man, and uh, I think when the chips are down, why, he'll come through for them. This goalkeeping situation, Frank, I always like to answer this question like this. That here we have the six best men uh, in the world playing goal. And uh, any goalkeeper in this National Hockey League is capable of winning a game by himself. You've seen nights where Jacques Plant has done it, the Gumper does it yeah, night after night in uh, Montreal, doesn't it? Certainly, you bet they do. And uh, I did think, though, that Terry was a little bit lucky in a couple of shots. Armstrong put one over the net. Uh, and then uh, Eddie Shack come in and picked up a drop pass by Duff, and uh, it went through Terry and hit the post and stayed out, although he has played very well. Well, those things happen when you're playing well, though. The, the puck seems to bounce off the post. What has also impressed me was uh, on Howe's first goal, well, I can well imagine how uh, Johnny must have fell on it, but it was one of those things, and it looked as though the puck dropped on it because it was flipping in the air. But uh, it was very noticeable that all his teammates came up to him and they patted him on the uh, on the pad, say, come on, Johnny boy, we're going to get that one back for you. And they got it back, and right now it's a tie ball game. It's very interesting to see the morale, the spirit on a hockey club like that, and it goes a long way. Let me ask you this, because, Milk, you mentioned something before about having been through all of this before, uh, the blood, sweat, and tears, and the heat. Uh, how you played on uh, the Leafs' great teams when they won three Stanley Cups, I think, and Milk, you played on many great Boston teams. One thing that has surprised me so far in this series is nobody has as yet said that Toronto Maple Leafs are one of the great hockey clubs of all time, and nobody's had too much to say about the Red Wings being a great team. Let's have some comment on that. Well, I don't think you can class them as a great hockey club. At the present time, what have they done? They've won one Stanley Cup and finished in first place. You can't compare them to the Montreal Canadians who dominated this league for how many years. like a Newfoundland and not an ex-Toronto player. <laughs> No, I, I think they have to prove themselves. I think this club is finally mature. you got Colford and Vaughn and Keon, and this Keon is a fabulous hockey player. Tell me, Milk, has he uh, played like this all year long? Always. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Punch doesn't even work him out in practice most of the time. He just lets him rest because he gives uh, every second he's on that ice. And of course, he's not too big, and he hasn't got any weight to take off. He doesn't have any weight problems. But Punch does rest him an awful lot, which uh, rightfully so, because the way he plays out there, and what a beautiful skater he is. See, no effort behind it whatsoever. And uh, he reminds me uh, a lot of Oliver from our Boston team. They both skate a lot alike. However, getting back to your question, uh, uh, Frank, I, I don't know whether this is a big class of a great hockey club. But let me say this, uh, the Toronto club is big, they're strong, and they're a real good checking, uh, checking a hockey club, whereas the Detroit club are uh, uh, mainly a real good skating hockey club, and I think that's just a big difference right there. Uh, I think that Detroit started to uh, throw their weight around a little bit, but I don't think they can do that continually throughout the whole game and still have, uh, have the legs left in the third period. Thank you very much, Milt and Howie Meeker. Now let's go back downstairs to Ward Cornell. Ward Cornell with Gump Wozniak. 
Good to meet you. Brothers and sisters and cousins. All my family here. What are you going to do? <laughs> Gump, uh, instead of talking about the game, because you'll be back to analyze it at the end, some questions that people have asked me about you. First of all, where did the name Gump come from? Well, uh, when I, in the summer, I went to Otterburn Park. It's about 17 miles outside of Montreal. And I had hair like uh, Andy Gump that stuck up in a bat, and a fellow named George Ferguson, who I hung around with at the time, uh, named me that. So it's been there ever since. Ever since. All I right, guess. the next question, Gump. There's been a lot of talk this year, and a lot of sports writers have written about it, that instead of the number of goals against you counting for the Vesna Trophy, that it should be a percentage thing. You know, that the percentage of uh, goals, uh, or rather goals into the ones, the actual shots made at you. Uh, well, What's I'd, your comment? I'd, I'd be all for it, but I don't think it would be fair for the simple reason uh, this is the only honest way that I believe that it can be done is goals, which uh, are kept uh, in the league office. Uh, statisticians around like uh, these fellows who keep shots they could be padded easily uh, I don't know if they do or not for me or what happens but it's too easy to pad uh, the shots on you feel that it was, you'd never get an accurate report well, this that is way. the only honest way let's put it that way now the other night after the game Bobby oh. Hall, Pierre Pallad, Harry Hall, myself and a couple of others were in a bull session and uh, Bobby Hall made a very complimentary statement about you he said you're the only goalkeeper in the league uh, one of the only ones who protects a player against the post. Now, what, do you, what does he mean by that? Uh, I think Bobby means uh, if, he, if a player comes in and he, the play is gone and uh, he trips or something and he's coming in towards the net that, uh, you know, you stick out your leg and you tell him, uh, okay, it's okay, don't worry, you're going to protect him. But I think all the goalkeepers will. But I'll tell you, if the puck uh, is coming, you got to worry about the puck rather than the other team. And sometimes when you go in, your coach will say, what would you stop him for? Not meaning uh, no. you know, sort of man would get injured or anything else. Okay, Gump, thank you very much. to we'll be back to pick the three stars. And in just a moment, Bill Hewitt in the play-by-play -play of the third period. Skies getting bluer. Sun getting warmer. That means it's almost touring time. For your motoring vacation, may I recommend heading out on the new Trans-Canada Highway. Almost 5,000 miles of scenic beauty and variety. And for happy motoring, the place to start is right here. At your neighborhood SO dealer. Ask him for an SO touring service request card. Fill it in, mail it, and back will come this complete travel kit containing mark maps, travel tips, where to stay, what to see. Then add your s credit card and a pre-trip safety check by your SO dealer, and Canada is yours to enjoy. And here's something to help you with your pre-trip planning. The new SO Trans-Canada Highway Map, the most complete, accurate, and up-to-date map of its kind. Your SO dealer has a copy for you. Drop in and get yours now. Use the SO Trans-Canada Highway Map to help you decide where to go. Then let SO Touring Service show you how to get there. And wherever you travel in Canada, from St. John's, Newfoundland to Nanaimo, B.C., Esso dealers are right with the times, with more service, more value for you, the motoring shopper. Kelly got his first from Mahavich and Braun at 1741, and the second period ended a 2 0 tie. Shots on goal, Detroit outshot the Leafs in the second period, 17 to 8. Detroit coming out now on the ice, and they'll defend the area to my right wearing their dark red uniforms, the Maple Leafs in white to my left. Players best is on the far side. Duff and Howe have one second left on their penalty. They picked them up at the 18.01 mark. So this 
be a formality in the penalty box, and they're both standing there, a pair of nines, getting set to get on the ice. All set to go. On the faceoff, Duff climbs over the board, Gordy Howell went out the gate, and away they go. The puck is brought into the leaf zone, Stasiak takes his shot wide. Howell is replaced, and Stanley falls. Martin into the corner, started around on the board, Sam Strong, he pokes it out to center right. Doug Barkley to Normie Elman. Elman moves up for the pass to Stasiak. He's checked, and Keon goes down the ace for the leap. Up over the Detroit line. Taken out by Marcel Provo. Duff centered it in front, was wrapped back into the corner. Normie Elman hit by Duff. Duff goes after Elman. Floyd Smith plays it to the blue line, and Stasiak tapped by Armstrong. Pass for Keon over the Detroit line. Keon couldn't make a play, and it goes back to Stan Lee, who shoots it right into the Detroit zone again. It ends up behind the net. I sell Pronovo, being watched by Keon. Back to Vic Stasiak, number 11, off the board to Floyd Smith. He's checked. Doug Barkley hits up. Marcel Pronovo, a pass to Stasiak. Watched by Armstrong. Clearing pass on the wing. Pulford on the ice. Brighton moves up. Alman clears it into the leaf zone, and Stanley just scoops it behind the net over to Duff in the corner. Duff failed to get it out. Floyd Smith a shot, and Bauer stopped that, and Armstrong a clearing pass to Pulford. Ports up. Stopped by Floyd Smith. Up over the leaf line. Brighton goes after it. Along the board, Hoofed. Straight up at center. Over the Detroit line, Gadsby takes them off to the side, jams them in on the boards, and Floyd Smith gets the relay. His pass hit Alman, but Alman comes up with it. Alman flips the backhand, and it goes to Bauer. And Eddie Shag's back for it. Bruce McGregor checks him. Bruce McGregor is then bumped by Vaughn. Goes into the corner, it's cleared out in front, and Popper shot it, and Bauer stopped that. Bob Nevin with Pulford and Shaq, the three of them going down together, they're over the line, back to Pulford, over to Shaq, and it didn't reach him. Alex Foster, over the leaf line, ball. Pulford ran into McGregor, and they hold it there for a faceoff. It was underneath Alex Faulkner, so the faceoff comes outside the blue line. Score is tied 2-2. Two, two. two all tied. Wait two minutes and 40 seconds of the third period. Kelly with Wissenberger and Mahablich. Vaughn and Brewer, Del Vecchio, Packer McDonald, Gordy Howe, Pete Gregan, and Bill Gadsby. On the faceoff, comes back to Gadsby. Gadsby shoots it into the leaf zone. Bauer to Brewer. Brewer to Vaughn. Flicks it up for Litzenberger, too far. Pete Gregan off the board. Vaughn moves up. Turn it right to Gregan again, number 18. Pete Gregan to center. Takes a long shot into the leaf zone, and Frank Bahamlitz gets the rebound. Right in front of his own net. He's checked by Packer McDonald. Packer McDonald watched by Kelly. He fails to get it out. He falls. And Brewer up with Bahamlitz. A long shot. Goes in behind the net. Bahamlitz shot it around on the boards, and Vaughn didn't move up. Vaughn gets it over to Brewer. Brewer puts a long one. That hits the glass. Winds up near Sarchuk. Pete Goygen, a pass down the ice, pass Litzenberger, it's going to be on the net. Bob Vaughn, handed it to Alex Delvecchio, he takes the shot and he shot it wide. And the rebound went all the way to center right. Bill Gadsby, passing it off the board, Parker McDonald knocking it in. Bauer stopping it again to Brewer. Brewer being watched by Delvecchio. 
Pass the ball on. He was stopped by Parker McDonald. Eddie Litzenberger then has it. Over for Mahavlich. Mahavlich blocked by Gordy Howe. Scoops it over to Vaughn. Vaughn up for Kelly. Kelly. Played pass for Mahavlich and Bill Gadsby shoots it out the center race. Kelly has it again. Up over the Detroit line with Mahavlich. Mahavlich shoots it and he shot it wide. That ends up behind the net. Kelly. It's checked, but it goes back to Stanley. Here's a screenshot of Stotts, and he shot it wide. That ends up behind the net. Kelly, it's checked, but it goes back to Stanley. Here's a screenshot of Stotts, grabbed that one and held out of it. We have reached the 436 mark of the third period. Detroit 2, Toronto Maple Leafs 2. 2 all tied. Armstrong, Duff, and Keon, Horton, and Stanley. Alman, Floyd Smith. Larry Jeffrey. Doug Berkeley, Marcel Pronovo. Time to face off. Duff's one after the loose puck. It's in the corners, handed to him. He tried to pass it out in front. Keon has it. Keon, a foot pass over to Stanley. Stanley's shot was knocked down by Doug Berkeley. It's played out for Larry Jeffrey, and Horton has it. Off the board for Keon. Over for Duff. Duff over the line. Too well covered by Doug Barkley. Who plays it out to Larry Jeffrey. Up to the leaf line with Oldman. And Keon tried to get it out. Larry Jeffrey took a shot. And that hit Keon. And he covers up in the circle. Keon fell in front of it. We've played five minutes and 12 seconds of the third period, a two-all tie. On the faceoff, off the board, Armstrong bringing it out with Keon and Duff. Keon takes the pass, up over the Detroit line. Back to Armstrong, he shot it wide. Stanley moves up with a shot. That's knocked down by Doug Barkley to Larry Jeffrey too far. Horton back for it. Horton puts it out over the line and knocks back. He has it himself. Long pass for Armstrong. Over the Detroit line with a shot that's wide. I saw Pronovo back for it. Into the corner. Floyd Smith being watched by Duff. Smith. A back pass to Marcel Pronovo. Over to Doug Barkley. His pass out at center ice. Floyd Smith kicks it back into his own zone. A pass to Larry Jeffrey. Jeffrey watched by Keon. He's knocked down. Marcel Pronovo watched by Keon. Tries to get it out. Armstrong is dumped. It's along the boards. Floyd Smith to Doug Barkley. Bring it out to his own blue line to center. Up to the leaf line. Goes through, but it's outside. And sitting down. Watching the play was the line from Matt Pavlich. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. Kindle fires. Burn leaves. Start your barbecue with SO Barbecue Lighter Fluid. At the 620 mark of the third period, a two all tie. Bruce McGregor, number 16. Pass to Alex Faulkner, over the line. Bob Bond whacked at it. Here's Faulkner to Andre Pronovo, the shot, and it deflects over to Shaq. Shaq goes down the left wing, over the line. Here's the shot, and that hit Gadsby stick and went way up into the crowd. Face off in the Detroit zone to the right. Two all tie. Fourth game of the Stanley Cup Finals. Developing into a real cliffhanger here in the Olympia. It goes in behind the Detroit net. Pete Goigan, number 18. He clears it to the blue line. Alex Faulkner gets away. Going down the center, up to the leaf line. Still has it. Let's his shot go, and Howard stopped that. Nevin, long pass for Shaq. Over the Detroit line. Here it goes again, and that's why. 
Alex Faulkner tried to get away. Crawford went into the board. Vaughn knocked it in, and play is called. Faceoff goes back into the lead zone to the right. Leads are called for deliberately clearing it offside, and naturally, when that happens, it goes all the way down into the lead zone. It was called by linesman Ron Wick. The attendance, 13,971. Face-off in the lead zone. Andre Tonovo passing it back to Pete Goigan. He shot it, Nevin. He's got a break, one man back with Cooper and Shaq. Nevin goes in, and he shot it wide out. Gadsby stick, and Gadsby knocked it into the crowd. Bill Gadsby. Stopping that play at the Detroit Live. Reflecting it over the glass with three leads going in on him. Hofford set for the faceoff. Goes loose in the shot. Oh, it's right in front of the net. Hofford wakes at it. Shank gets a whack at it. That hit the goal post. Right from the faceoff. It's back to Vaughn. His shot is deflected by Sotchak into the corner. McGregor's hit. Brewer lets one go. It's Crawford trying to center it. And it's knocked by Gadsby over the glass. That one hits the goalpost right dead on. Lane Flares thought it had gone in the net, but it didn't. Patrick is still shaking his head on that one. We've played seven minutes and 45 seconds of the third period. Score is tied to all. Litzenberger, Kelly Mahavlich. It's a pass intercepted by Gordy Howe with Parker McDonald. Up over the leaf line. Horton covers his man against the boards. It goes loose. Gordy Howe goes after it in the corner. Trying to center it. Litzenberger covers him. Gordy Howe watched by Kelly as well. Alex Alvecchio shot it into the corner, and Litzenberger has it. He's jammed. Hacker McDonald trying to get it loose. Horton moves up. Gordy Howe gets it loose. Gordy Howe trying to center it. Horton watches him, jams him in on the board. Goes into the corner. Hank Mahavlich passing to Kelly. Off the boards and down the ice. It's going over the red line. Marcel Tonovo will touch it, and icing is the call. Off in the lead zone to the left. All set to go. Back to Kelly. Kelly hit the referee. The shot. Bauer stops it and gives it to Stanley. Stanley flipping it behind the net. Alex Delvecchio went after it. Delvecchio trying to center it out in front. It comes back to Marcel Pronovo with shot. And that's deflected wide. Horton can't get it out. Gordy Howe. Back to Marcel Pronovo. Here's in front to Delvecchio. A shot and Bauer stopped that. Oblick cleared it but not out. It goes along the boards. Alan Stanley knocks it down the ice. And it goes wide. And it'll be called for icing. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. SO Extra Motor Oil. More quality, more value for you, the motoring shopper. We have played nine minutes and ten seconds of the third period. claiming the face-off should be outside the blue line. A 
at the face-off will be in the link zone to the left. Elman with Floyd Smith and Vic Stasiak facing Keon Duffin Armstrong. Goes back to Keon. Keon bringing the puck out. At the center. Over the line. Going in alone, and he was stopped by Goigan. Then Armstrong tries to center. He does. Brewer getting set. A shot. Oh, that was just off the target. Brewer lets it go, and he shot it high over top of the net. Stasiak bears it out over the line. Armstrong to Keon. Keon over the line again with Armstrong. Keon for Armstrong. Bateman for the net. He goes. Keon shot it into the net. And the Leafs played it. Played it too. Dave Keon got it loose and slapped it home. And the Leafs go ahead. Three to two. Take the lead for the first time in the game. Dave Keon gets his fifth playoff goal. An assistant. Nine forty-two. Nine forty-two is the official time of the goal. Keon unassisted. Now then, the linesman is fixing his skate. At Pavlich over at the blue line. Stanley talking to him. Out of Maple Leafs three, Detroit Red Wings two. All set to go for the faceoff. It's slapped back to the Detroit defense. Keep going and over to Gadsby. Gadsby up to Alex Faulkner. He's knocked down. Eddie Shack goes back for it. Shack. Long pass for Pulford goes to Gadsby, who gives it to Andre Ponovo, puts it over the line. Stanley flicks it out to Pulford. Pulford up over the line. Closing in on the left wing, goes to the corner, took his shot high off the glass, and it goes by Horton down the ice. Alex Faulkner races after it with Horton. Horton gets to it first. Pass it behind the net for Nevin. It's going over the glass into the crowd, and there'll be a face-off in the lead zone. They play 10 minutes and 20 seconds of the third period. Lead three, Detroit two. Jack trying to get out of the left wing with Nevin. Up over the line. Jack closing in. Pass it right in front of the net, and it goes all the way out here to Alex Faulkner, number 12. With Bruce McGregor. Up over the leaf line. He's checked. Stanley let it go. Clears it out and down the ice. Back for it is Gadsby. Gadsby behind the Detroit net. Clearing pass to Faulkner, stopped by Brewer. Brewer to Shaq. Shaq shoots it into the corner. Goigan back for it. Starting to work his way out. Pass it right to Shaq. Shaq to Pulford. Pulford going in. He shoots it and Sachuk caught that. Alex Delvecchio now on the ice with Gordy Howe. At his own blue line. Delvecchio a pass deflected into the lead zone. And Litzenberger's in there for it. Litzenberger pass away in front of his own net. Howe hits the post. Here's that Delvecchio shot. And that goes to Litzenberger again, who handed it right to Gordy Howe. And he hit the post. Here's a chance for Packer McDonald for Gordy Howe. Over the line, and it's offside. handed a perfect setup and he hit the post. Eight minutes and 27 seconds. 
Eight minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the third period. The base off is outside the blue line. Big three, Detroit two. Kelly with Mahavlitz and Witzenberger. And from the faceoff, Witzenberger lost it to Howe. He's over the line again. Tech gets it in front, and then it hit a skate and went off to the wing, and Brewer just clears it out. Doug Barkley being watched, but gets away from Red Kelly this time. A pass to Parker McDonald, who's hit by Litzenberger. And there's going to be a penalty there to Litzenberger for dumping Parker McDonald. Litzenberger of the Leafs will get a tripping penalty. Tripping. Eleven minutes and fifty-three seconds. Now then, Detroit will have the odd man advantage. Six men to five. Trailing three to two. Alman, Laurie Jeffrey, Floyd Smith, Gordy Howe, Alex Del Vecchio. On the faceoff, here's Howe taking his shot and it hit a leg. Alex Del Vecchio lets one go. And Stanley was knocked off his pin. Del Vecchio lets another one go. It hits the glass. Here's another shot. And it comes over to Gordy Howe. Here's his shot. That's why. Over here to Del Vecchio. Right in front. Goes back to Gordy Howe. Here's the shot. It hits Stanley. Del Vecchio again. A pass to Gordy Howe. Here's the shot. Bauer stopped that. Another shot. It's all around the leaf goal and goes to the corner. Stanley couldn't get it out. Floyd Smith from the side. Passing it to Oman. Oman back to Gordy Howe. Here's the shot right in front of the net. And it deflects over to this wing, and Armstrong brings it out. Over the Detroit line. Gates back at center. Bill has it. Hit the referee in the ankle. Hofford is out there now as Gordy Howe goes over the line. Back for Larry Jeffrey. Nevin slapped it down the ice. And it's not that coming out of the net to cover up. Pass off the boards to Jeffrey. From Thatchuk. It goes over to Elman. Elman shoots it in. Evans plays it to the blue line, but not out. It's played over to the far wing for Howe. Douglas took a swipe at it. Plays it around the boards and out and down the ice. Six minutes and 31 seconds remaining in the third period. Three to two for the Leafs. A pass at center ice. Stopped by Douglas. Who shoots it right back in again, and Del Vecchio's back for it. Letzenberger's still in the penalty box. A pass stopped by Pulford. Pulford took a whack at it. Oman gets it, though. It's Normie Oman, a pass to Larry Jeffrey. Stopped by Nevin. Nevin trying to get in on the right wing. Here's the shot, and he shot it wide as Letzenberger is back on the ice. On pass to Larry Jeffrey. Stopped by Nevin on a relay to Marcel Pronovo. Larry Jeffrey tried to get over the line and Duff checked his man. Doug Barkley. Long pass for Larry Jeffrey too far. Bob Bond gets back to touch it and the Twitter call for icing. This game is coming to you direct from the Detroit Olympia. Atlas seat belts. More quality. More value for you, the motoring shopper. Five minutes and 45 seconds remaining in regulation time. Leave three, Detroit two. Dot Duck stopped the shot from the faceoff. It cleared around to the blue line. Bob Bond shot it back. Alex Foster breaks it up. Up comes Alex Foster. Up to the leaf line with Bruce McGregor. Here's the shot, and Bauer caught that and held onto it. Face off in the Leafs on to the right. Red Wings have 
Alex Proctor at center, Andre Protov on the left wing, Bruce McGregor on the right, Doug Barkley and Marcel Pronovo. Kelly comes out with Witzenberger and Mahavlich. All set to go, Alex Faulkner got the draw but cleared it down the ice. And Marcel Pronovo goes back for it, clearing it off the boards to Bruce McGregor. It lands up on Brewer's stick and he just get cleared it into the Detroit zone. Doug Barkley, a pass to an open wing. Bob Vaughn moving up for Litzenberger, lost to Andre Pronovo, who gets up over the leaf line, trying to get a shot, and Carl Brewer gets in ahead of him. Played fast for Kelly. Kelly races after it, Bruce McGregor passes it back, Litzenberger moving up, shot it into the Detroit zone, Mahavlich goes after it, Sotchuk is in there, cleared into the corner, Bruce McGregor stopped by Kelly, it comes out over the blue line, and up the ice off for Bruce McGregor over the blue line. He tried to pass it through, and Kelly, clearing pass, knocked over the blue line to Mahavlich, he's got a break with Litzenberger, one man back, Mahavlich shoots, and it stops. And the rebound went to Andre Konovo. Away he goes with Gordy Howe and Eddie Joyal. It goes into the leaf zone. Bob Bond back for it. Plays it out over the blue line to center. Bill Gadsby to Gordy Howe. Turns at center. Flip pass to Joyal with Gordy Howe. It's the Leafs trying to get it out. Play it to center right, Bill Gadsby. Stopped by Nevin. Nevin is dumped. And Popper gets it. Back to Brewer. Less than four minutes remaining in regulation time. Joyelle stopped by Popper. Is bumped by Gordy Howe. Puck is cleared by Brewer into the Detroit zone. It's going over the red line. And it'll be called for racing. Three minutes. 42 seconds. Remaining to play in regulation time. Leaves three, Detroit two. Face off in the Maple Leaf zone to the left. Detroit with Alex Del Vecchio, Hiker McDonald, Gordy Howe. Eddie Joyal and Bill Gadsby. Jack, Fulfred, Nevin, Stanley, and Horton. All ready for the face-off. with Gordy Howe. Now Gordy Howe attacks to the referee. Alex Del Vecchio and Eddie Joyelle all in there. Now we're all set to go. Now Stanley doesn't like the way it's going. And they're going to tire each other out talking. All set to go and from the faceoff. Bob Pulford, a flip pass stopped by Del Vecchio. Whiten goes behind the leaf goal. He lost it. It's right in front of the net. Parker McDonald couldn't get his shot. It rolls out over the blue line. Alex Delvecchio checked by Nevin. Popert races after it. One man back. Popert takes his shot, and he shot it wide. Stanley let it go, and Parker McDonald comes down the ice. With Joyal. Shot stopped by Horton, and he flips it out to center ice. Bill Gadsby. He lost it. Popert gets it loose, and he's dumped. There's going to be a penalty here to Gadsby. Detroit will get a penalty as Pulford tried to break away. And there's three minutes. Well, we'll wait for the official time of the penalty. Left in regulation time.
1652. A holding penalty to Bill Gadsby. So we have three minutes and eight seconds remaining in regulation time. Sotchak down on one knee over at the Detroit bench. And the action has been hectic. Holding the Gadsby at 1652. The Leafs have the odd man advantage. They're leading in the hockey game three to two. This is a torrid struggle. And it isn't over yet by any stretch of the imagination. Some of the fans are starting to leave, but it's, I guess they can't take the excitement. A face-off, when they have it, be in Detroit Territory at Pavlich doing yeoman service. Acting as an attendant there, scraping up the ice. It's Mahavlitz with Litzenberger, Kelly, Brewer, and Douglas. Kelly has gone to center ice, Ogroski and Valfontaine. Mahavlitz keeps the puck in, shot it around on the boards. Litzenberger races after it. Pass it back for Douglas. Douglas getting set, there's the shot, it's right in front of the net. Mahavlitz took a whack at it, Sotchak looked behind him, the puck didn't go in the net. Litzenberger trying to center it. Kelly goes against the boards, and they hold it there for a face-off. Close call around the Detroit net. Leaves three, Detroit two. Two minutes and 48 seconds remaining in regulation time. On the face-off, Potrowski is checked. Litzenberger to Brewer. Brewer hit Mahavlitz with it. And it went over the glass, so the face-off will come outside the blue line. Mahavlitz, Kelly, and Litzenberger. Brewer and Douglas. Litzenberger back to Douglas, over to Brewer. Back to Douglas. Douglas over the line for Kelly, stopped by Odrowski but not thrown out. Mahavlitz shot it into the corner. Doug Barkley cleared it around on the boards, it's back to Brewer. Brewer for Mahavlitz, he hit the board. Doug Barkley hit Kelly with it. Kelly getting set, he shoots, he scores! Kelly has scored for the lead with Litzenberger standing off the goal crease. And it's 4-2. That looked like Kelly with a shot. And that makes it 4 to 2 for the Leafs. That means they're going to have to scrape off the ice for a moment and give me a chance to review the scoring up to date. Al from Del Vecchio and Parker McDonald at 2.54 of the first period. Armstrong from Keon at 1.17 of the second. Joyal from Howe at 2.38. Kelly from Mahavlich and Bond at 17.41 to tie it up to all. Then Davey Keon unassisted at 9.42 of this third period to make it 3-2. to two. And now Kelly has scored, or looked like Kelly when he shot it, whether Litzenberger touched it or not, it's hard to say. We'll wait for it officially on those close-in plays around the net. And it's now 4-2 for the Leafs. Waiting for the official announcement, Vern Buffy, the referee, is over at the timer's bench. Getting very warm here in the Olympia. Now then, the referee has gone back to the timer's bench. 
or at the 17.45 mark of the third period, with the Leafs leading by a score of 4-2. to two. Goal was scored with Gadsby being the penalty box. Seventeen forty-five. Kelly unassisted, and for Red Kelly, his second goal of the playoff. He scored two, both of them tonight. A lot of the fans are starting to leave, but as we all know, this game is never over until the final buzzer. Four to two for the Maple Leafs. Keon, Duff, Armstrong, Stanley, and Horton. Almondel Vecchio, Howe, Andre Pronovo, Eddie Joyal. On the face off, it goes back to Armstrong. Armstrong to Horton, off the board for Keon, he tips it over the line. Joyal shot it out, Del Vecchio is watched by Armstrong. Almond passed it right in front of his own net, play his call as a delayed whistle. And the face off will be outside the Detroit Blue Line. Two minutes. Three seconds remaining in regulation time. Toronto four, Detroit two. Bauer is yelling because there's paper on the ice down at his end. Keon set for the faceoff with Elman. Tries to get it over the line. Del Vecchio passed it into the corner. Joel didn't see it. Goes back for it. Having difficulties, Armstrong shot it right in front of that. Now Del Vecchio comes up with a number 10 to Joyal at center. Nice to go through. Horton rolled it out again, and Del Vecchio back for it. Alex Del Vecchio clearing past to Gordy Howe, offside. Alwyn went over the blue line. One minute and 40 seconds. Remaining in regulation time. The Leafs four, Detroit two. Army Elman looks up at the clock. On the faceoff, Pulford gets it back to Brewer. Brewer to Barr. Bond moves up for the pass for Pulford. Pulford shot it over the line, and Andre Pronovo and Gordy Howe go back for it. Howe overskated the puck. Then gets it handed back to him off his skate. Clearing pass out at center, nowhere near his man. Brewer moves up, and he takes a long shot to start Chuck stop. Eddie Joyal goes behind the net, stops there. Clearing pass, hit Jack stick. Brewer wraps it back, and it's called offside at the blue line as Pulford was coming out. One minute and 12 seconds remaining in regulation time. The least four and Detroit two. Set to go, Pulford back to Shaq. Shaq over to Bond. Bond's pass for Pulford was deflected back to Joyal, number 21. Eddie Joyal, trying to get over the line, stopped by Shaq, it comes back to Bill Gatsby. He clears it in, Bauer stops it. Bob Bond in the corner, got it around, Del Vecchio lost it. It's along the board, Devin can't get it out, Del Vecchio keeps it in the corner, and Carl Brewer's back there for it. A pass for Shaq. Gordy Howe watches him, then Bob Pulford with it. Trying to get it out. It's still in there. Here's Eddie Joyal, and he was checked by Nevin. Nevin shoots it out for Pulford. Pulford races down the ice. Takes a shot, lets it go. Sotchuk got a piece of it, and it goes into the crowd over the glass. And there's exactly 25 seconds left. 25 seconds remaining in regulation time. Out of Maple Leafs, four. Kirk Red Wings, two. Carl Brewer up in his own zone, picking up papers. It's Litzenberger, Mahavlich, Kelly, Douglas, and Hort. 
Alex Del Vecchio, Gordy Howe, Eddie Joyelle, Bill Gadsby, and Normie Elman. Lining up for the face-off. Face-off in the Detroit zone. Gordy Howe is talking to Del Vecchio and Joyelle, so... On the face-off, out to Mahovlitz, his shot, Patek stopped that, it's right in front of the net, Kelly trying to get set, took his shot, and that was stopped. It's still in the corner. Detroit trying to get it out, 12 seconds left. In regulation time, Joyelle up the center, over the line, Mahovlitz steps into him, the puck bounces out and down the ice, there's three seconds left, Delvecchio goes back for it, he gets set, this is right to Mahovlitz, there's the shot, he shot it in the net, but the game is over. Four to two. Now then, the Leafs player skates on the ice. Batchuk took exception to Mahavlitz letting it go, but he didn't know that the buzzer had gone. Batchuk still talking to him. I don't think anybody heard the buzzer because that cannon cracker went off. Game is over. It ended four to two. Power down there attacking the shot check. So now then the two teams are leaving the ice. There's one nothing to toward into the first period, two off the end of the second. The Leafs scored two goals in the third period. Who comes through four to two. So the final score in tonight's game here is the Detroit Olympia, Toronto Maple Leafs four, Detroit Red Wings two. the land, roads where the sun beats down all day, where the muskeg drops away, and just one thing that the men all know, there's 21 miles to go. Stone that's close must pave this road, take the endless wear and load, make a surface frost won't spoil, send that stone to Imperial Oil, they're the men to lend a hand when new roads must be planned. Find the asphalt grade that's best and put that pavement to the test. When the heat goes up, how well will it hold? Will it crack in the freezing cold? Will it crack? Will it crush when they add the load? Can they make it pave that road? Well, Imperial Research finds the mix to make that stone a solid fix. Make roads that last through snow and sun. Till many long years are over and done, Imperial Oil helps new roads grow and there's many new miles. than all other oil companies in Canada together. Work for now with Gump Worsley. And Gump, your three stars. Well, the first star I picked Dave Keon. For, uh, Dave plays real well. He skates well. He started off the game for Toronto in the Detroit end. And this is uh, a good way that the team takes off from him uh, the start of the game. You can tell the way the game is going to go. And Dave uh, scored the winning goal and... Uh, plays real well. I picked Bill Gadsby for my second star. I, I don't think I've seen uh, Bill play a better game, even when he played with New York. He played real well. My third star, I picked George Armstrong for, uh, for his all-around work. He, he scored a goal. He killed penalties with Dave Keon, and I thought he played real well. Any honorable mentions, Gump? Yes, I'd have to say that most of the Detroit defense played well. Red Kelly, of course, for his two goals. The only thing, I, the Toronto defense weren't up fast enough on the play. I think this is a big thing that hurt Toronto tonight, too. And Johnny Bauer had a pretty good night. Would you say, uh, dumb or not? Well, they're always good when you win, Ward, when yeah, you're playing goal. Cool. And Frank standing by now with our number one star. Thank you very much, Ward. Uh, Davey, come on in. Uh, some cheers and some booze, Davey. Uh, a great hockey game and maybe the key win of the series for the Maple Leafs. Well, I hope so, Frank. If we can go back to Toronto and play well, uh, I think we can beat them. 
Davey, you've been scoring a lot of key goals for this hockey club all season. You did it in the series against Montreal. This is the second big one that you've uh, scored in this series. You seem to score an awful lot of them from right in close to the crease. Uh, I'd like you and Gump to talk about that a little bit because I think you probably got some on him. How did you get that one tonight? I didn't score it. Uh, I'm not sure it was Stacey or Roman who scored it. I was trying to bring the puck across in front of the net, and uh, I couldn't get right across. And uh, but the puck got across, and the back checker uh, beat the goalie, and I think it hit his leg and went in the net. I think it's just straight the determination that he does score them goals, Frank, on Davies' part. Uh, Continuous skating and uh, chasing the puck around. I think this is why you get a lot of these goals from close in. I hope I don't get too many on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope not anyway. Eh, Davey, you're going back to Toronto. Uh, what do you think of your chances of sewing up the series on Thursday night? Well, I don't want to make any predictions, but we'll be up there trying. I would, I would think this is the toughest game of the series so far. Would you not uh, agree with me? Yes, I think, uh, I think so, because when you, when you have a lead and the other team comes back, and ties it up and then wins, it, it, it makes it left, uh, a lot tougher, especially in, the, in your home ring. Mm -hmm. So you're uh, confident that you can go back and make a real game of a Thursday night? Well, we'll sure try. Thanks very much, Davey. Gump and Ward. And here are the statistics on tonight's game. The shots on goal, the De uh, Detroit Red Wings had 40, the Toronto Maple Leafs 33. The series standings, Toronto has won three, lost one and Detroit 1-1 one, one and lost three. So the final score in tonight's game, the Toronto Maple Leafs four, the Detroit Red Wings two. We hope you have enjoyed this season of Hockey Night in Canada. If you have, then I'd like to recommend that you show your appreciation by doing business right here at the Esso Sign of Confidence. It represents Imperial Oil. It also represents the Esso dealers, agents and distributors, serving your community. This hockey show is their way of collectively thanking you for your patronage or inviting you to join the millions of Canadians who have come to count on their quality products and services. Throughout the year, they stand ready to provide more value for you that is right with the times. Until the next game of this final series between Toronto and Detroit, this is Murray Westgate on behalf of Imperial SO dealers, agents and distributors, wishing you good night and Happy motoring. Receiving a lecture on the proper care of other people's property, Chip Douglas misplaces...